ESPN, Arkansas. The weather is brought to you by Forest Green Incorporated, committed to setting the standard of excellence since 1936. J-O-Y. From the Bush Light Studios, this is ESPN 95.3, KERX Paris, Fort Smith. Are you sure this is legal? I don't know. It's fun, though, isn't it? C for three. Are you kidding me? Everybody wants to know about Big Z. Pronounce just your first name. So my first name is Zvonimir. 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 All right, say it with me. Zvonimir. Okay. Last name. Ivishich. Ivishich. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> is that good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm calling him Big Z. You call him the right name. Hey, this is Darren McFadden. You're listening to The Morning Rush. <laughs> Live from the Bush Life Studio. Heard all across ESPN Arkansas and hitthatline.com. Hit that line. This is the Morning Rush with Ty Richardson, Tommy Kraft, and Chuck Barrett. You're in need of a serious attitude adjustment, young man. You better get your priorities straight. Produced by Christian Johnston. In spite of the juvenile snows of some, this is a serious matter. Call or text the Morning Rush on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. With six locations in Springdale and Bensonville, a good deal is never too far away. You don't need to wear a ball cap, man. You need to let those golden locks flow. Yeah, so the first domino has fallen. Big Z has committed to the Arkansas Razorback basketball program and John Calipari. Now, there was some stuff that happened in his Kentucky tenure where didn't know if he were going to get cleared or not. Didn't know if he was going to be able to play for the Wildcats this past season. Ends up getting cleared. Didn't have maybe the impact that some expected. They had a, a good amount of depth at several positions, and he was kind of thrown into the fold late. Hopefully, he'll really surge his sophomore season and his first season at the University of Arkansas. The first domino, again, has fallen with Cal's incoming recruiting class, a former player in Lexington, now coming to Fayetteville, Arkansas. It is a bandwagon Tuesday. I know you are all on the bandwagon of Cal getting some heightened recruits, some guys that you really want. And Big Z, not just coveted here in Fayetteville, but across college basketball, and he's elected to follow Cal to to Fayetteville. May need some pronunciation lessons <laughs> as we move along. Cal gave us one there at the, the top of the show. We may need to practice on that. All of our Arkansas basketball coverage is presented by the Limburg Real Estate Group. They serve all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and the River Valley. For all of your real estate needs, go to LimburgTeam.com. And by Maverick Mail Medical, your wellness and aesthetic center for men. They're in Northwest Arkansas. You can look better, live better, love better. Go to Maverick Mail Medical. Dot com. Yeah, it helps that you have that, and we've got that on the top row, but we got a couple other sound bites that we'll play to help you along with this. I'm just going to call him Big Z, kind of like Cal did. I think it's too complicated. I don't have to do what Chuck does, where he has to actually, during the broadcast, say his name and sometimes his first name, too. Uh, he doesn't have the luxury of that, but I do. So I'm going to do it that way, and occasionally we'll butcher his name from time to time. But that's the first guy. There are a lot of other guys that have hit the— <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'll hit the. Well, go ahead then. I, I, I'm not, That's what hey, I thought. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm, I'm jumping right in. Yeah. Do what? Zvonimir Visich. That was pretty good. Man. Good job, Big Z. All right. So what do we do with Matt Zimmerman now? He's been he's been Z. We got Little Z and Big Z. Now what do we do? Little Z and Big Z. Little Z and Big Z. You I think, think that's what we got to go with. You think Matt Zimmerman will? I, I think he can play off that a little bit. Little Z and Big Z. I, I think, think I think that uh I think Big C might have been usurped as of yesterday in terms of his his name. That would be something oh, well, that they listen can, to you with a ten dollar word. That's a I think that's a pretty big word. I read that in a book the other yeah. day. So, but do you know what it means? Like taken from? Like it like pushed yeah, away, pushed could, out of a little bit. Day. It's yeah. in the in the context. That's yeah. somewhat of the context. I feel Leapfrog. Like, yeah, leapfrog. That's yeah. again pushed in front of I don't have the dictionary definition in front of me. I know that in that context it works. But that's <laughs> regardless, whether Big hey. Z, maybe we'll ask him about it. Three out of ten will get you to the Hall of Fame. His, his <laughs> nickname will get in, in this morning. That is the first guy. There's a lot of – I was looking up the Kentucky roster, trying to do a good job in terms of the recruits. Four of their six guys have already gotten out of their national letter of intent. They currently have, I think, one strong commit who's a Kentucky kid in Travis Perry. Uh, he's still signed up. He stays – 
Uh, Billy Richmond, I don't know. Uh, he's He's got some roots in New Jersey, as does DJ Wagner, who plans on entering the transfer portal. That was the guard that had 19 against you in Lexington, Kentucky. He wasn't Dillingham. He wasn't Shepard. But I think he would be much better in a sophomore season uh, if he ended up coming to Fayetteville, Arkansas. Just because you get a year of college under your belt, sometimes true freshmen don't from the jump have it. But there's plenty of guys that, are, again, are going through the draft process, as Cal was talking about in the press conference with the Arkansas media. And I think he even alluded to it with the introduction. So, again, this is the first one. This is not going to be the last one, I would say, in regards to who Cal brings to Arkansas. Well, I thought the most important thing was the Twitter post or the screenshot or whatever you want to call it that uh, that he put out there. Because when you got down to the very tail end of it, what was it he said? I came to Kentucky to play for Cal and playing for coach Cal is my best path to the NBA was, you know, just to paraphrase his statement. That's the most powerful thing in all that. That's the reason you're paying a coach nearly $8 million is this is the kind of talent that kids of this caliber come to play for. So, uh, I thought out of everything said, done and celebrated about this move yesterday, when you when you just look at the tail end of that what three paragraph statement or whatever it was he made, that was the most important part. That what what we believe in Coach Cal and the reason you hired him was was just laid out there in the written word. He called it the mom, monumental part of the decision, mm-hmm. which well, is I mean, a huge part. How how yeah. how much more weight can you put than that yeah. behind uh, someone's intentions? Also said Woo Pig Suey at the end of his statement, yeah. which I know Arkansas fans in, enjoy listening. By the way, Ken, and Chuck kind of clarify <laughs> this. Maybe you missed it uh, last week. It was not intentional that Cal did not call the Hogs. It was just in the midst of what was going on, him trying to introduce himself to the, uh, the coach, not the opposing coaches, the coaches on campus, and just in, in flux and everything that was going on, that is what happened at the tail end of the press conference. You will see Cal in in, in due time call the Hogs, as you will see other players too do this because I know people are excited to to see that first uh, first time. Yeah, because uh, that's the most important thing going on right now. Is no, to make it's, to sure, get, yeah. it's to get players. And like they said, you get Big Z, you go from there, and you see what else you no, can do. No, calling get. the Hogs is I – mean, I'm, I'm saying in jest, some, some have really – not many, but we have heard from a few that had a uh, a real concern about that, you know. And I guess we got, you know, that we're not over the Dana Altman situation enough that it, that didn't bother some. But you know, I don't get that. Well, listen, I mean, some, if, particularly when it's new to you, or you're in, you know, and I don't think he is uh, very awkward or or uh, shy about much. Coach Kelly, he he relishes the spotlight. He he is the spotlight. But calling the hogs is kind of an awkward thing, and, and you know when you, particularly when you don't grow up here, it can be awkward in certain settings when you do grow up here. So, you know, let's you know, let's let's recognize it for what it is. The most important thing is is he's your coach now, but you know he'll be calling the hogs. I, I like the video of him and Chuck, and there were others back back behind the curtain the other night. You know, kind of showing him. You know, no, it's coaches three times, and then Pig Suey. So, you know, I. Uh, for $8 million, he'll be all in on calling the Hogs. And he was very respectful about the Lexington and his time in Kentucky. But as I said right after his statement, it's time to pillage the village. I mean, there's a lot of other Kentucky players that have entered the transfer portal that are contemplating going to the NBA draft. And as I said earlier, he's he's trying to figure that out, who guys are going to stay in that situation. Like the Ados, I think it's Adoso is uh, on Yeso, excuse me, that says, I'm not coming back to the NBA per on three, uh, or I'm not coming back to play college basketball. I'm 100% focused on the NBA. So maybe that was the guy that you were wondering about if he would possibly land in Fayetteville, Arkansas. According to his statement, college basketball doesn't seem to be on his mind. And so we'll see what other guys have to say in regards to their future commitment, not, not just in Lexington, but what could possibly happen in Fayetteville. All right, that's where we begin. The McClarty Daniel hotline is open for you. Calls or texts. In fact, texts are already pouring through. All of the phone lines open now for your thoughts, 877-377-6963 on the McClarty Daniel hotline. Hey, this is a, an important week around our state for Arkansas State Police and for you to, to not be drug impaired while driving, whether it's prescription or otherwise. If you feel different, you drive different. Drive high and get a DWI. There's an enforced or, or uh, increased enforcement going on April 19th through the 21st. If you feel different, you should not be driving. During the drive high, get a DWI uh, blitz in Arkansas. Officers will intensify enforcement of drug-impaired driving. 
Uh, they'll be doing it just like drunk driving. Drug driving is illegal in all 50 states. Whether it's a prescription drug or not, it doesn't matter. Drive high, get a DWI. This message brought to you by the Arkansas State Police. What are your thoughts? Who do you want? Call or text us here on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. We got plenty to discuss the next three hours. Even though you try to be, Ty, you just can't quite get there. Well, I just probably can't get there. But you shouldn't try either. You're listening to The Morning Rush. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenix Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that ad on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The key ingredient is something called Tesnor, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you? Man, I feel like I'm in my my 20s again at work in the gym and in the bedroom are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves yeah you just need to send them a text text bike to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of nugenix total tea the number one selling testosterone booster at gnc plus text now and we'll include a bottle of nugenix thermo our most powerful fat incinerator ever to help you get back into shape fast absolutely free text b-i-k-e to 321321 that's bike to 321321 this is the morning rush <laughs> Join the March Mayhem and catch every game at 810 Billiards and Bowling in Fort Smith. Open seven days a week with daily specials. Enjoy bowling on one of their 14 lanes. Play pool on one of their 13 tables. Sit at the deluxe bar and indulge on gourmet food while the kids play at the fun arcade. Let the madness begin at 810 Billiards and Bowling. 5609 Rogers Avenue, Fort Smith. Come for the food, but stay for the fun. I know we're always on the go, heading to Fayetteville, Little Rock, Oklahoma City, and you need a place to fill up. But not just for gas. I need snacks, drinks, and a restroom that doesn't make me throw up. That's why my new favorite pit stop is Jam Mart Number 10, located at 6201 Grand Avenue on the way out of town. I can't stop by without getting something from their hot box or a fresh made burger. That's Jam Mart Number 10, located at 6201 Grand Avenue in Fort Smith. Hey, I'm Hagen Smith. As an Arkansas pitcher, I know the importance of precision, skill, and keeping cool under pressure. That's why for your helm, choosing the right team for heating and air is just as important. You want professionals who bring their best game. When it comes to staying comfortable, I rely on Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. They'll send pros to take care of your home, too. And sign up now for Pascal's Plan Protection Membership before the summer heat for only $8.99 a month. Never pay for a tune-up again when they're included in your membership. Professional people, professional service. Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. Remodeling your bathroom? Don't let your imagination be limited by out-of-the-box shower doors or tub enclosures. Arkansas Glass & Mirror is your local source for all things glass, including plexiglass, mirrors, and shower doors since 1964. Arkansas Glass & Mirror has more selections, better prices, and the experience to help you build the shower of your dreams. They also have the only showroom in the area to help you create those dreams. Professional installation and professional service. Only at Arkansas Glass & Mirror, 1316 South Zero, Fort Smith, or online at ArkansasGlassAndMirror.com. Are you ready to work for one of the area's premier companies? If so, Forsgren wants to offer you a rewarding new career. Forsgren has been building the foundation of the River Valley for over 80 years. Forsgren is recruiting for experienced concrete finishers, equipment operators, truck drivers, and laborers. Forsgren is a destination point for men and women with a drive toward excellence. Join the Forsgren legacy. Apply now on any device, anywhere at GoForsgren.com. That's GoForsgren.com. Forsgren Incorporated is an equal opportunity employer. Did you get a switch over to shelter insurance? Actually, I found a deal online. You did? Does your deal come with award-winning customer service? Oh, I'm not sure. Does the deal include a local agent? Doesn't actually say. Can we create a customized plan that fits our needs? Let's just call the local shelter agent. For insurance that fits just right, find a shelter agent near you. See Agent Jeff Clark in Fort Smith or Agent Brad Howe in Van Buren. 
Do you need help with your next project? Mentors Lumber True Value is here to help. A family-owned business since 1936, the staff has more than 90 years of experience in construction and the hardware business. If they don't have what you need, they know how to get it, and they are more than happy to accommodate your special order. So whether it's building a new deck, a paint project around the house, or needing a new set of tools, Mentors Lumber True Value has everything you need. With locations in Alma, Ozark, and Clarksville, and you can shop online at MentorsLumber.com. Mentors Lumber True Value. It's time to vote for your favorite high school player of the week. ESPN Arkansas and Shamrock Roofing and Construction are recognizing the most outstanding high school student athletes. Visit hitthatline.com each week to vote for your favorite athlete of the week. The high school player of the week is brought to you by Shamrock Roofing and Construction. No one can install a better roof at a better price with a better warranty than Shamrock. Visit them at shamrockroofer.com. Visit the nominees each week at hitthatline.com. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. The Cal era is here. Championship Under Construction is brought to you by Limbird Real Estate Group, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and the River Valley. For all your real estate needs, go to LimbergTeam.com. Limbird Real Estate Group, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and the River Valley. For all your real estate needs, go to LimbergTeam.com. Maverick Mail Medical, your wellness and aesthetic center for men in Northwest Arkansas. Look better, live better, love better. Visit MaverickMailMedical.com. T Tom, get in on us on our YouTube live stream. Always on YouTube, Facebook, X, Instagram, and Twitch saying that it should be Big Z and Coach Z. Coach Z has done too much for the program to call us Little Z. There was a little sarcasm infused in that first segment. And no, we do not plan on changing Matt Zimmerman's name to Little Z anytime soon. I did shoot him a text this morning, seeing with his feedback now that there will be two Z's on campus here in Fayetteville. Yeah, so uh that's uh, exciting news. If you didn't read it on social media last night, you're waking up to uh, the first domino, I guess, to fall in the Cal era when it comes to getting that roster put together. All right, Jim and Rogers, hang on. We'll head to your phone call in just a moment on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. We're brought to you by Farm Credit of Western Arkansas for over a century. Your friends and neighbors at Farm Credit have helped you keep your farm or your ranch up and running through the good times and the, the harder times that come along. Visit myaglender.com or drop by any of their 26 locations near you and see how Farm Credit of Western Arkansas can keep your farm or your ranch operating from sunrise to sunset. And we're going to have Richard Davenport join us a day early because of all the recruiting news, not just Big, Big Z, but the incoming news that we expect to hear this week and get some insight from our recruiting expert. Jim and Rogers now joins us via the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Jim, what's going on this morning? Hey, good morning, guys. How are you doing? Um, yeah, I work, I work with a former hog, and, and we were talking basketball players, and we were talking last night, Elmer Martin, and we were talking about how you know, we all know that things have changed with the NIL and everything, and, and now it's more, you know, in his opinion, it's more money, coach, and the institution that you play for. Um, we're used to maybe the institution was a little bit higher up, and but it doesn't seem to work that way anymore. And, and and in my opinion, and you notice, I I think a lot of a lot of people probably think the same thing. And what Cal said was, um, coaches win win games, but administration wins championships. And I kind of think you need to treat it more like the NBA, where where the money is dealt from the executive offices up front, and let them deal with that. Let coach do his coaching and what he does as far as recruiting and stuff. And, and it just seems to be a different ball game. I kind of think, like Big Blue Nation, they kind of seem a little bit not quite understanding that, from what I can read. And I think it more people are in, like even in Arkansas, are understanding it now that Tyson threw all the money out there and everything. What do you guys think about all that? I just threw at you. Okay, so hang on. I want to make sure I understand what you're saying. You're saying that Coach Cal should not be worried about or be involved so much in fundraising for NIL as Am I catching the gist of what you're no, saying? No, not as not as much, not as much the fundraising part of it, but as far as the way it's, the money is distributed oh, okay. to the players that he's bringing in and stuff. I think you know you need to run that more, and you know, I'll have more of an organization that helps distribute that. Maybe with his okay. limited input, of course, because he knows the well. talent. But 
more of that. You so know, more, more, by, more by committee is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, okay, a little bit more you. by committee. Got you. Like- got you. All right, Jim, appreciate the call. Listen, John Calipari's king of the hill. I mean, it just plain and simple. And if if he if he's got a six million dollar pot, he's the one out getting the players. The question's going to get asked when in that meeting with that player. Hunter, Hunter Yurchek's not sitting at his right hand when they're talking to uh, a recruit or a prospect. That he's got to have the ability, and I think he already does, to say, "All right, here's, you know, here's what we're thinking financially." You can't say, "Well, I'll get back to you," while every other suitor's coming for that mm-hmm. player services. So, I, I understand where you're at, Jim, but but I think in in uh, in all practicality, how does that work when? the recruiting tables become the negotiating tables all, all in the same, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think he can go in there without the authority or the ability or the, um, uh, just the wherewithal to make, make things happen. You're, I, you're handcuffing. I forget who Billy Bean's right-hand man was, but hopefully Arkansas has one of those I guys. guys. Noah, something that's, you know, that the actors, I, I know, who, you know, I can't remember the character's name, but. Jonah Hill played him, but Jonah I, Hill. That's what the, yeah. I don't. I don't know who the actual man that's portrayed I, in that in that movie is. The reason I bring that up is I hope that Sam Pittman, Dave Van Horn, and John Calipari both have good quote unquote accountants, good helpers. That hey, this guy's worth this much. This guy's worth this much, or we need to find this much money. I I agree with you. He's Jim. worth a dollar more than what your rival is willing to pay for him. He's worth a dollar more than what it's going to take to keep him from going somewhere else. That. That when you really need him on your roster, if he's a fit. Yeah. So That's what he's worth. Jim, I would say that the, your rankings in terms of money than coach the institution is correct. It didn't always used to be that way, as you alluded to, but it's changed that now. Now, it's not that way for every player, but a lot of them look at it that way now. And sometimes the combination of the three is what gets you over the edge with Arkansas. I don't think that John Calipari is going to be out recruited by Mark Pope. Now, I know Mark Pope has ties to Lexington, and I know he's on that 96 National Championship team, and all of a sudden the Kentucky fans have bought in. But Cal's got the resume, he's got the cachet, and he's got the experience. There's not many people on this planet in college basketball that could out-recruit John Calipari. Bill Self might be one near the top of the list, but can you really? I mean, there's no Roy Williams. There's no Mike Krzyzewski. You also have to think about the fact, and there's no Jay Wright. There have been some legends that have gone away from the sport in the last three years that Cal didn't have to deal with anymore on the recruiting trail, which I think is big news. And it is funny. So to go back to what the statement that you talked about with Cal, how he mentioned players and coaches win games, administrations win championships, that's basically what the late Jerry Krause said about the Chicago Bulls. You remember when Michael Jordan Mm. got so mad about that? He said players win games, organizations win championships. Mm -hmm. I don't think any players would take that to slight. But I will say that there seemed to be a rift between him and Mitch Barnhart. Apparently, a practice facility wasn't getting renovated or, or rebuilt or something, and they didn't inv- he didn't feel like it was investing. I don't think they're going to redo the Eddie Suddy, Eddie Sun practice facility anytime soon. But one of the reasons Cal cited coming over here is because he felt like Hunter Yurchek was going to be on board as he was with Kelvin Sampson in Houston, which he learned from well. a – a previous connection. What choice do you have of your Hunter Juracek? You have went all the way in. I mean, you, you're all in with Coach Cal, right? You've called in every favor you, you needed from Warren Stevens and, and John Tyson. And I know John Tyson brought Cal to the table in a great degree, but you finally loosened the purse strings to get a Hall of Fame name. You have no choice to, but to go all in. And whatever Cal needs within reason, you've, you've got to make that happen. All right, more calls and texts coming up. Phone lines are open. Eight seven seven three seven seven six nine six three. We are brought to you by the Fence Man. If you need a fence gate, automatic gates, picking uh, Dylan up from school yesterday, and the Fence Man at Dylan School had put in new walk-through controlled access gates that you need a code to go through to get in or out. Controls things and keeps things very secure and safe at the school. And you can see by just looking at their work how sturdy and how long-lasting it will be. Well, well built custom project uh, at, at school. So industrial, commercial, educational, they do large-scale jobs as well, and uh, they'd love to come look at your project or your needs. 782-3936, the fence man. He ain't afraid of no work.
Just say, Alexa, play ESPN Arkansas. ESPN Arkansas from TuneIn. This is former Arkansas Razorback, J.J. Meadows, and you're listening to The Morning Rush. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas-owned, Arkansas-operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakale. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite white perch, slab, Sakale, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. Bet Online is the number one source for all your sports betting this season and every season. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends all at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. The fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Go to betonline.ag to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. Bet online where the game starts. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yeah. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson, the best in the business. On the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas.
Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. A dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakali. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouse. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White perch, slab, Sakale, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. Bet Online is the number one source for all your sports betting this season and every season. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends all at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. The fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Go to betonline.ag to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. Pet online where the game starts. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yes. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omaha Hogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Parrott, and Phil Elson, the best in the business on the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty... ...to several reports. What do you make of maybe the news that broke yesterday in regards to one of Arkansas's backup quarterbacks? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, after the spring that Taylor Green had, I think you kind of know the, the pecking order. And uh, and and Jacoby, obviously, has you know, been patient trying to uh, trying to get on the field, you know, North Carolina and, and in Arkansas. So it's it's not that surprising. Uh, all I can say, he's one of the finest young men I've, 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 I've come across and uh, I wish him the best. Uh, I really do. I mean, if you have an opportunity, uh, just talk to him for a few minutes. You, you, you're a fan of him. Also, Isaiah Gustav, the other name. This happened relatively quick after the spring game. Uh, I chalked it up to maybe him being the third or fourth string back. Uh, can you give us any insight on why you maybe think he is elected to enter the transfer portal? Well, I... Uh, that, that, that I really haven't been able to, uh, uh, with basketball and everything going on, really haven't uh, dived into it. But uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't shock me that uh, uh, he might be going to TCU. But at the same time, I don't know that for sure. Uh, obviously, Jimmy Smith recruited him, and uh, you know, you, you look at the uh, you look at the the roster of uh, running backs. It's pretty impressive, pretty deep. So uh, you know, again, uh, he, he might be going to be uh you know the guy and 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 right now uh, 
didn't didn't look like that that's going to be the case. Yeah. Any other players you're expecting to read a note from or a, a social media post soon that you think will be leaving the football team and headed to the portal? Man, I'm going to tell you, there's not any, there's not a lot of guys that that I, I I've uh, you know thought that you know well this this is a guy that I know for sure that would would leave. I I think I I, I don't have a, a great answer for you to be honest with you. Uh, I, I thought that uh, you know the guys that left uh, in uh, you know after the season uh, kind of were. You know the guys that uh, you, you kind of thought that the, that they may leave, and but uh, you know there, there's always a surprise. You just you know if, you, if you're Coach uh, Pittman and staff, obviously you don't want a guy that uh, it's a big contributor. You, you're you're expecting to be a big contributor next fall. So uh, with uh, NIL and uh, just everything the way uh, college football and college athletics is set up right now, you, the, nothing nothing sh- nothing is shocking. So after you got to see the game on or the, the 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 practice, the scrimmage on Saturday, any area that jumps out to you that hey, I expect Arkansas to be active in the portal in these areas of the team. I, I think the you know obviously they they they, uh, they hosted uh, Branson Hickman, uh, the offensive lineman from uh, SMU, uh, earlier this spring, and uh, he should be making a decision I think next Monday. Uh, I think that I think uh, if they get him, and uh, they may uh, try to get an offensive tackle, then uh, I think he, I think you do need to try to maybe get another uh, inside guy on the uh, other side of the line of scrimmage, one or two of those guys, and, uh, and 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 continue to add depth there, and and hopefully get a difference maker, and uh, I think linebacker may be another uh, position, but uh, I mean at the same time if you see a guy that. Uh, you you think it'd make a difference uh, you know, at any position, even though you feel pretty good about that particular position, you, you go for it. So uh, you know, I, I think that I think those are the the three that uh, would stand out to me. But at the same time, uh, I can't nest type guy. You, you go ahead and take Richard Davenport with us on the McCarty Daniel Hotline, Whole Hawk Sports, Arkansas Democrat Gazette, Artie. I think people have a misconception about the portal. It officially opens today, so everyone. With the exception, I, I guess grad transfers don't apply here, but a lot of the guys that are undergrads have planned to enter today, but it officially they can actually enter today, correct? Correct. And then to go off that, uh, like how do you <laughs> – you mentioned uh, what maybe some plans this week. I mean, you got basketball, you got football to keep up with. Who do you think is going to be more active in this is it upcoming cycle? Is it is it Cal or Pittman? Yeah, I think it's going to be Cal. I mean, he, he's he's got twelve more spots to fill, uh, I, I, and it's going to be interesting. It really is because that, I mean, he is he is without without a doubt the most successful uh, coach in college basketball as far as recruiting you know, high level uh, talent. And when you know he makes that call to somebody and, and he's interested. It's kind of hard not to uh, take a look at him because of all the NBA guys that he sent to, you know, uh, to to the league. I mean, uh, all the guys that he sent to the league. So I, I, I just tend to think that uh, he's going to he's he's going to have a busy few weeks and and maybe go beyond that. Uh, but at the same time, I think because of his resume, you know, these twelve spots may be filled a little quicker than what uh, you know most other schools. Uh, you know, fit, would fill up 12 spots, but, uh, you know, obviously we don't, we don't know that, uh, uh, you know, for sure. So uh, time to tell, but I, I tend to think that, uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of, a lot of activity with, uh, coach Cal and, uh, and visits. Richard, you saw the activity yesterday with, uh, big Z committing to this Arkansas basketball program. If I had, what, what, what's that first name? What's that first name? I mean, Say it one more time, name? Christian. Zvonimir? Zvonimir Avisic. Zvonimir Avisic. <laughs> I, I, I just had to do that, man. Hey, I'm, I'm calling him uh, big Z too. So I'm like, ahead, I'm like Cal. I got to call him big Z, but that was the first addition, first domino to fall for this. If I set the over under at seven Kentucky former players and former commits four guys have decommitted of their six-person class already still waiting on the fence about one guy I think a Kentucky kids can ultimately stay but if I set the over under at seven it's already down to six for Arkansas does Cal go over 
Kentucky commits and foreign players that join him in Fayetteville? Well, that's a good question. I, you know, I, I, I've been thinking about that too. I mean, I, I was thinking uh, the, the signees, uh, you know, most of them follow him, and then uh, you know, three or four guys uh, from the portal, or two guys or whatever uh, from the portal joining. Uh, and then uh, because I've been thinking, boy, it's much easier. So I say if it, if you have seven, and then you, you only have six more spots, and and then obviously you got to do that with the portal, uh, unless uh, some there's some late, you know, twenty four guys that uh, you, you could get on. So uh, I, I think that's a good that 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 that's a good number, and I, I think uh, uh, Saracen or, or Oakland or whoever <laughs> should. Uh, uh, consult with you because I think that 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 would get a lot of action. I I, I just here, here's my math on this. So you, you got one in Big Z, who's already committed. Carter Knox has Chicken Man in his bio, so I'm going to count him as two. Boogie Fland, I think there's a good chance that's three. Then you got Jaden Quintance or Quintance, however you say his name, who has already got out his national letter of intent. That's four to me. Then you've got a a, a couple other guys that. I, probably three or four guys that I'm thinking hmm, I, I could definitely see them coming to Fayetteville and, and joining him. Uh, you're not going to get Dillingham. He's going to go to the draft. You're not going to get Reed Shepard, but I really do think that is an accurate number, or at least close. That could get some action uh, both ways. And, and last thing, Richard, and, and maybe you don't have his where, but like he was just at the Nike Hoop Summit. Is, is he on the recruiting trail? Is he is he going back to Lexington to move? Like Any idea where Cal is right now? Well, from what I gather, he, he, he arrived back in Fayetteville uh, Sunday. Now, uh, has he been, uh, you know, has he left since then? I, I don't know. I, I tend to think he's probably still in Fayetteville, and uh, they're probably lining up visits. And uh, so I, I, I don't have a great answer for you on, on that, but uh, – I tend to think he's still in Fayetteville, but I don't know for sure. Well, he's either on, the, he's in either in Fayetteville or he's on the recruiting trail. Based on yesterday and based on some other things that you may be hearing through the grapevine, there are new, there is news to come this week. So I yeah. know you're going to be very busy, Richard. We appreciate your time this morning. Appreciate you moving up a day early, and we will chat next week. All right, my man. We'll see you guys. All right, Richard Davenport with us talking some Razorback hoops. All of our hoops coverage is presented right now by the Limbird Real Estate Team and by Maverick Mel Medical. Ty, I, th- I think it's really interesting what, what is going on, and um, you know, I, I think more dominoes will fall. I, I think maybe you had four or five players maybe by the by the time Friday's over, Saturday's over, somewhere in there. Yeah. I don't I, think you – maybe not quite half your roster, third to half, something like that. Be nice, and and then again, then it'll start snowballing. Yeah, then hey, the, I want to go play with those guys, and that's the and that's the other thing. So you think about it's not just about high caliber coaches. It's not just about money. It's also about hey, who who do I get to play with? Who do I get to join up with on this roster? So I mentioned some players there. Big Z is already committed to the University of Arkansas. Just to kind of roll through some of the high caliber players that may or may not end up in Fayetteville. I think Boogie Fland. Who's a new? If I remember right, a New Jersey kid. Uh, I think he ultimately ends up in Fayetteville. He's a five-star combo guard. Uh, I think that there's a good chance that you get uh, what's that kid's name? Uh, Adu Thierro, who's more of a glue guy on this roster. Um, and then also Jaden Quince is another guy to look at. Billy Richmond is an is a recruit that I mean, there's there's a lot of guessing right now when you see people well, sources this, sources that. I mean, just because a kid gets out of his national letter intent doesn't mean he's just beelining for Fayetteville. But you put two and two together, there's a good chance that might happen. All right, before we get into our CJ's Butcher Boy Burger Trivia Tuesday, let's talk to JR on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. JR, welcome into the program, man. Morning, guys. How y'all doing? Good, buddy. Yeah, I got a real quick question for you. Uh, talking to some of my, my friends and stuff, and we're still trying to sort through all this, the portal on the NIL deal, but the question I have is this right here. According to last year, Bobby Petrino, when he was at Texas A&M, in the interview said he had no idea, you know, what NIL money the players were getting. And I think Sam Pittman was asked about that with KJ, and he, he basically gave the same answer. So my question is this, what is in place that sets the benchmark? If the coaches don't know what the kids are getting, 
who who's in charge of distributing that money and deciding who's worth what when it comes to that distribution? I bet they know. I bet that's Coach Speak, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm of the opinion that they know maybe not the exact figure, Tommy, but at least around around. Oh, I think they know the marketplace. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but JR's question is your your question's good is is you know, in, in professional sports we're used to, you know, publicized contracts, more transparent process, and you can set a marketplace based on player A gets this, so player B should get a little less or a little more based on, you know, what they're you know, what you think of them. And that's the problem is everything's behind a veil of of secrecy. I don't know how we're going to change that until we get a player's association, player's union, whatever you want to label it, where you can collectively bargain this. I mean, it's just completely backwards how compared to a normal business model, how we're running this thing. And until we get some practical business sense applied to this from both sides in a deal that's fair for the players and the schools, um, we're going to continue to scratch our head over what are we doing here? No one would run a business the way this thing's being run right now. Nobody. Yeah. And that, and that's, I think, part of the problem why you've had a big a big uh, lack in not just Arkansas and other places, a big money like, you know, well, we'll just use John Tyson and Warren Stevens as an example. Now, they came into the fold. Why? Because of Coach Cal. But I don't think the big checks are going to follow. The big donors are going to follow till they look at this thing and say, all right, this makes sense. Because you don't throw good money after bad, is the old phrase. And I think any businessman, any businesswoman with any sense at all, looks at what's going on with NIL and says, hmm, hard pass. Because it doesn't make business sense, the basic structure of what we're doing. And I think when college sports figures that out, and then the players figure out, yeah, we need some structure in order to you know, grow the pot, I think it will grow. But would you throw your money into this? Obviously, there's been a struggle because anyone with that can fog a mirror can look at this and say, this, this doesn't look right to me. I'd throw money into it if I knew for a fact that it was going to turn into postseason success. But that's the thing. Like, you'll invest in something that you know the return on your investment is going to come through for you. And for well, some, yeah, let's, it's the— Sign me up for a sure thing. Absolutely. I'm, I'm in for a sure thing every time. But it's the but I mean you invest in the stock market you invest in and business. there's no such thing as the sure thing yeah. I bet on horses they they go off at even money they're no sure right. thing yeah that's what I'm saying but you're taking chances in other places so I understand why people are taking chances in this I understand why John Tyson as a giant Razorback fan is taking chances is this as is Warren Stevens because but they're of, betting on Cal they're betting on Cal yeah, and Perry no. they're not we like mm-hmm. to think they're and would they get in you know Warren Stevens has always been very generous with the Razorbacks. They're going to another level because of the name on the head coaching oh, I, yeah, job. Yeah, there's no question. 100%. So, all I'm saying, you, you buy a stock, you bet on a horse, you look at the past performances of that horse. Have they run in their last, you know, one-mile races or what? six furlongs, whatever the race is. How, mm-hmm. What kind of competition? Are they up in class, down in class? You, if you look at a stock, you look at, you know, you, know, you look, used to look at P.E. ratios and you look at earnings, you look at assets, you look at things and you say, does this make sense at this price? The problem with the NIL model is there's so, so much lack of transparency. There's nothing about it that makes good business sense. And I think that's why you can't get a good business person to put their money behind it. And until the process is cleaned up, I don't think the big money's ever going to swoop in. And it's, it, and it's not that you're ever going to invest a million and get a championship. I'm not saying that, but I just think the basic principles of how it's run just there's a lot of friction with with people that, you know, have made money and been successful because they know what they're doing. They know what they're looking at. Mm-hmm. And yeah. when they look at this, because, you know, I'm not the smartest guy in the room ever, I look at this and say, hmm, none about this makes sense. And yet it's still happening, and there's no— Yeah, but I, I'm just saying it's a fraction of what it could be. In, in terms of the transition? In I'm... terms of the money. Oh, you... if, if I'm saying if you got some basic structure and basic business principles in place that people knew about and understood, more people would be willing to put their money in because they look at the, the structure and they say, okay, this makes, makes a little more sense. There's nothing equitable about player X getting 500000 and player Y getting 100000 when 
you know, two different. I mean, there's just and and you mm-hmm. you don't know what to believe in the media reports. There's nothing you can look at that leaves you with with any comfort of what you're putting your money into. No one's going to put a hundred grand or or a grand into NIL and think, well, my, my return on investment is going to be that extra five wins this year and going to the the conference championship game. Mm-hmm. You know that when you put your money in, but right now it's so wild west willy nilly. I'm out. And I think when the sport as a whole figures that out, more people will understand and be willing to to put a little more behind it. And the pot will grow for the players and the school. All right, it's that time of the morning here on a Tuesday, CJ's Trivia Tuesday. This is CJ's Trivia Tuesday presented by CJ's Butcher Boy Burgers in Fayetteville and Russellville. It's delicious. There must be 50 customers out there. It's unbelievable. When all you do are burgers, they have to be the best. All right, it's a pretty easy one for you this morning. Who is a another Razorback basketball player with Croatian descent? Leonard Nolan Richardson. I am throwing you the softest of softballs this morning. 877-377-6963. Got to call us. No text. We always get text on the McCarty Daniel hotline. If you want to win the $25 CJ's Butcher Boy Burger, you have to call us. You know this, right? Just off the top of your head? Yeah. Okay. He had a really tight relationship with Nolan Richardson in a lot of ways. Really took him under his wing. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's not I, a long list. Yeah. I think this, this is a softball. You're even, right. I don't even know if there's another one on there. It's just the one that everyone everyone thinks of. When you think, it again, who is another Rage of Back Blast basketball player that played under Coach Nolan Richardson with Croatian descent? I was curious if Big Z was going to be – the first one when he when he came out, I had to look up where he was from, but that is again the the connection that Arkansas basketball. You have to go back again a little bit in regards to this answer, but it is, I, and I'd be curious. I mean, he and this this person in in question, this trivia answer was just in Fayetteville just a couple of years ago for a reunion of some sort, and I think it was in I think it was the twenty five. If I remember correctly, I was a senior in college. I want to say it was like the twenty five year anniversary of the national championship team or maybe it was right around there but yeah he was just in Fayetteville mm-hmm. for this so oh it, it, again what are we doing big C we got somebody yeah we don't need a blood sample all right we got JB from Rogers all, all right. right JB what is the answer to our CJ's trivia Tuesday question this morning who is the other Razorback player with Croatian descent JB. Hello. That? JB, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. Who is the other? What is the answer to our CJ's Butcher Boy Burger trivia question? Thanks, guys. Great show. That would be DeVore Remar. That is correct. DeVore Remar. DeVore with more. Go out there. He's always there. Football so so different in that respect. The late Paul Eels on the call. You also heard uh, one of the, I think, the JP guys there. But that is, yes, the correct answer to our question. What was the, now again, this is not my heyday. What was the, you mentioned the tight relationship. We played at Fayetteville High School, and and, uh, my memory served me correct. He he stayed some with Nolan back in the day, and Nolan really took him under his wing. and, Mm -hmm. And because, I mean, it was not as common back then for a player to come from a place like Croatia, Croatia and land in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So, um, you know, good player. And, and one of the, I, I don't know, I don't know my history all the way back to, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, if he was the first international player, but mm-hmm. he was one of the first we certainly remember. And so. that is the answer to our CJ's trivia question, uh, CJ's Butcher Boy Burger trivia question. As always, it's brought to you by our friends at CJ's Butcher Boy Burgers in Russellville and in Fayetteville. Two great locations, the original off Arkansas Avenue, and then the newest location in Fayetteville off Weddington. You can get the CJ's Butcher Boy Burger seasoning at either location. Stopped by a couple weeks ago and got me a delicious chicken sandwich at the Northwest Arkansas location. And, of course, the best burgers, fries, and shakes around. CJ's Butcher Boy Burgers. When all you do are burgers, they have to be the best. And let me tell you. They are at CJ's. All right, still a lot to get into. We talked with Richard about Jacoby Criswell, the report that he's expected to enter the transfer portal. We'll touch more on that and Big Z committing to Arkansas basketball. It started as a dream, and here you are. 
It's moving day. But wait, isn't moving supposed to be stressful? Oh, that's right. You bought your home using Weikert Realtors. Your Weikert agent guided you from start to finish to help make sure we found you your perfect place. Dream, move, home, Weikert. Call your local Weikert Realtors office today and make your move. And look for our bright yellow signs. At Weikert Realtors, we sell more because we do more. Each Weikert franchised office is independently owned and operated. Hello there, homeowner. Roger Scott for Leaf Guard Gutters of Arkansas. Are you tired of dealing with clogged gutters, climbing ladders, and worrying about potential damage to your home? Well, listen up to me now. Leaf Guard of Arkansas has got you covered. Introducing Leaf Guard, the only true one-piece seamless covered gutter system on the market guaranteed to never, ever clog. With Leaf Guard, you can kiss goodbye to all the hassle of climbing up and cleaning out all that muck and mud and shingle grit. No more hiring someone else to do it, or worse yet, risking serious damage and issues by doing nothing at all. Spring is finally here, which means it's time for Leaf Guard's famous ugly gutter event. Leaf Guard will Swoop in, take down, and haul away all those unsightly gutters at absolutely no charge, and you'll receive an incredible 60% off installation on a whole house Leaf Guard gutter system. But wait, there's more. Ask about the 0% financing options and additional discounts for seniors and military personnel. Do not let ugly gutters ruin your home's curb appeal or cause costly damage. Call 501 664 5400 or visit leafguardingmore.com to schedule your free estimate today. Leaf Guard of Arkansas, protecting your home one seamless gutter at a time. Nothing says summer fun like fishing with a Phil Bobber with the family. America's favorite floats by Phil are available in a variety of sizes and colors. These premium balsa wood floats are made by the thousands at Pradco in Fort Smith, Arkansas. They are great at detecting the slightest bites by fish and work great in tandem with crickets and red worms. Available at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, Lurnet.com, and tackle shops everywhere. America's favorite floats by Phil. Hi, that's the million dollar question. This is the morning rush. The Wave Rural Connect Shoal Creek Zone is open. Fast fiber internet, TV, and home phone available. This covers Midway, New Blaine, Scranton, Delaware, and other areas. Even if this isn't your zone, check your address. We might be available for you. Get your whole home solution. Internet, TV, and phone from a local provider. Go to signup.waveruralconnect.com or call 1-833-492-8372. Arkansas Valley Electric and Wave Rural Connect. Changing the communities we serve. Join the March Mayhem and catch every game at 810 Billiards and Bowling in Fort Smith. Open seven days a week with daily specials. Enjoy bowling on one of their 14 lanes. Play pool on one of their 13 tables. Sit at the deluxe bar and indulge on gourmet food while the kids play at the fun arcade. Let the madness begin at 810 Billiards and Bowling. 5609 Rogers Avenue, Fort Smith. Come for the food, but stay for the fun. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. That's why we work with you to design an auto, home, and life insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter is known for our award-winning customer service, satisfied customers, and a plan for you. Ready to check us out? Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. See Agent Jason Hill in Greenwood or Agent Wade Gilkey in Fort Smith. Now is a great time to start your career at Simmons. For a limited time, we're offering up to a $15,000 hiring bonus for maintenance techs, including electricians and refrigeration techs. Simmons offers vacation matching, a 401k plan, and premium health care for team members and their families through our care clinics at no additional cost. Learn more at workatsimmons.com or stop by the Fort Smith Hiring Center at 4900 Rogers Avenue, Suite 103 in Fort Smith. Find out more about the $15,000 hiring bonus and start getting paid sooner with same-day hiring options. We look forward to seeing you flu vaccines both regular and high dose for seniors are now available at law's drug store in fort smith call 452-6116 to schedule your shot appointment usually there is no cost when covered by your insurance law's drug has covid vaccines rsv vaccines for ages 60 plus pneumonia and tetanus shots are also available law's drug store 6802 rogers avenue behind outback steakhouse law's drug store open six days a week to safely care for you and your family Husband, sons, daughters, honor your wife or mother for Mother's Day at the inaugural Mystery at the Fort Legacy Ball, benefiting Heart to Heart Pregnancy and Family Care Center on May 11th at the U.S. Marshals Museum. Buy your tickets today for this 1940s mystery dinner, coupled with an exciting night of investigative entertainment and lively dancing with the band Who Shot JR. For more information, call 479-452-2260. 
You won't miss a moment of the action at On The Mark Sports Bar & Grill in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. Cold drinks and hot food specialties, sure to score points with your entire crew. Come watch all the games at On The Mark, 6,000 square feet of sports entertainment with over 40 flat screen TVs and the best smoked wings. Only at On The Mark Sports Bar & Grill, 2588 North Gregg Avenue in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. On The Mark. All the games, all the time. ESPN Arkansas weather. For today, showers and thunderstorms will be rumbling on through. Our high temperatures today, mid to upper 70s. We will start to dry things out tonight. The showers and thunderstorms ending from north to south. But overnight, low will drop down in the low to mid 60s. And then we're back to sunshine Wednesday, a high low to mid 80s. I'm Sally Russell with your forecast on ESPN Arkansas. The weather is brought to you by Forest Grand Incorporated, committed to setting the standard of excellence since 1936. You're listening to The Morning Rush, live from the Bushlight Studios on ESPN 95.3, KERX Paris, Fort Smith. This hour of The Morning Rush is brought to you by Bud Light, brewed with the best barley, rice, water, and hops to be America's favorite light beer. Bud Light, please drink responsibly. C for three. Are you kidding me? Unreal. Everybody wants to know about Big Z. Pronounce just your first name. So my first name is Zvonimir. 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 All right, say it with me. Zvonimir. Okay. Last name. Ivishic. Ivishic. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Is that good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm calling him Big Z. You call him the right name. Hey, this is Darren McFadden. You're listening to The Morning Rush. Live from the Bush Light Studio. Bush. Heard all across ESPN Arkansas and HitThatLine.com. Hit that line. This is The Morning Rush with Ty Richardson, Tommy Kraft, and Chuck Barrett. <laughs> You're in need of a serious attitude adjustment, young man. You better get your priorities straight. Produced by Christian Johnston. In spite of the juvenile snows of some, this is a serious matter. Call or text the morning rush on the McCarty Daniel hotline. With six locations in Springdale and Bensonville, a good deal is never too far away. You don't need to wear a ball cap, man. You need to let those golden locks flow. Yeah, The Croatian sensation, the first domino to fall for this Arkansas basketball program under the John Calipari era. He's assembling his army. He's going global, not even going stateside, going global to figure out and to fight incoming invaders into Bud Walton Arena. So we welcome you in. To a That's not too Tuesday. dramatic at all. No, 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 you, no. Know me, you know me, always par for the course. We welcome you in hour number two of the Morning Rush here on a Bandwagon Tuesday. All right, I'm going to try this. Zvonimir Ivicic. That was not bad. Not bad. That wasn't. That was good. I think I'd give that an 8 out of 10. Christian did a good job. Let's hear it again, Big C. Zvonimir Ivicic. You do it. it. When you say it fast, it sounds good. I, yeah. I think you're the best at it. You go, Tommy. Zvonimir Ivicic. Close. Yeah. It's, it's, it's tough. You have it's to get that V. You have to get that V at the beginning. Zvonimir Ivicic. Yeah. It's tough to do the Z to V combination. Either way, if you want to call him Big Z, if you want to try and say his first and last name, feel free to do so. But you're going to be probably calling his name a bunch of times next well, season or this season in Bud Walton Arena. Glad he's the hog and glad he's uh, the first to join the roster at Arkansas. All right, more to get to when it comes to basketball. All of our basketball coverage presented by the Lindbergh Real Estate Team and by Maverick Mill Medical. We'll tell you more coming up. Hey, if you need a place to stay in northwest Arkansas, we always choose the Inn at the Mill. It's located in the heart of northwest Arkansas off the Johnson exit. That's exit 69 off I-49. It's the most unique choice of hotels that you'll find in the region. Whether you're in town for the game, concert at the Amp, and that's coming up with a lot of, a lot of shows there business travel or just a weekend away with your sweetie the inn at the mill is a spa it has spacious rooms oversized suites fast internet and a great breakfast to start today have reserved your stay at the inn at the mill it's a quick easy phone call no phone trees no press three for this no national phone centers none of that 479-443-1800 that's 443-1800 or visit in at the mill.com so last year Zvonimir Avisic averaged five points, three rebounds, and assists. Just played 15 games. NCAA cleared him late in the process and is now elected to 
joined the team in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Him and Lawson Blake. Those are your two dudes right now on this basketball team. We'll see about the other two guys that were apparently in the meeting room with John Calipari, whose name are unbeknownst to us. Butcher that. Unbeknownst to us. Unbeknownst to us. Uh, at this point here on April the 16th. I set the over-under at 7 with Richard in the last hour of Kentucky players, former players, and then commits that could ultimately wind up Fayetteville, Arkansas. I want to count them up for you here this morning. I think Boogie Flan, five-star kid, combo guard, top 20 overall, ends up in Fayetteville, Arkansas. That's two if you add in Big Z. I think they're going to get Jaden Quintance who is the number one recruit in Kentucky's class. That's three. Carter Knox, that's four. He's got Chicken Man in his bio. Read the room. That's four. Uh, Samanto Cyril is a four-star big man. That could be five. Billy Richmond could be six. DJ Wagner, seven. I think DJ Wagner's going to end up there. And then Adu Thiero is eight. I go over in that seven, over under. And I don't think that... Our friends at Bet Saracen could have the over-under for the number of players that are Kentucky ties, whether in Lexington last year or the committed to the Wildcats. But that's eight possible names that legitimately could wind up in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And you oh, got one of them already, so seven additional seven names. seven additional names. That, I think we'll start seeing a few more of these names by the end of the week. Maybe four or five are on this list, perhaps. I mean, I'm just speculating. The point I want to drive to is this thing will will snowball. As you get some of these premier names, premier players, other players will say, that's the team I want to play on. That's the situation I want to be in. And I think this thing could start snowballing, not just Cal's connections, but even others outside mm-hmm. that, you know, reach out, make a phone call. I mean, that's what we're hoping for. I mean, that's what we're dreaming of is, you know, get, get a really flush roster here. And I think maybe the snowball starts turning downhill towards the end of this week. Eric and Greenwood says, can't call him the Croatian sensation. He texted on the McCarty Daniel hotline. That belongs to Coney Kukoc, who was a part of several Bulls championship teams back in the day, who was a great player in his own right. Uh, got bullied by Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen in Barcelona and then somehow winded up on the Chicago Bulls, which is kind of funny. All right, let's talk to Brent, who's in Searcy this morning. He's got some thoughts on what's going on with Arkansas basketball recruiting. What's up, Brent? I'm glad I, I caught you with plenty of time today, Ty. Sorry, what? Say Hello? that again. I said I called in with plenty of time today. Yeah. So, uh, I am so excited about the Big Z coming coming to te- the group. You know, the Razorbacks have had two Croatians, Devore Remont and uh, and Big Z. Now, uh, is Wagner? Is he? Is he? Uh, Remember Wagner that played uh, DeJuan Wagner? Is that his son? I I know DJ is the the young man that is, is plans to enter the portal. I don't know if that's if there's the connection with DeJuan Wagner. To be honest, oh, uh, but I would I would take it. I, I'm ready to sign up all those seven names you read off just now. Yeah, and it's a combination. Uh, uh, Brand appreciate the call. It's a combination of guys that were on the Kentucky roster last year, and then those four freshmen. That are right off. They're probably going to keep uh, uh, at least one of the freshmen. One of the guys is a Kentucky kid uh, whose name I'm playing. Travis Perry is a Kentucky kid. But you could maybe get five of the six transfers commit wise. Think about that. Cal had six freshmen in this class last year that was number two in the country. And you could potentially get five of those guys in addition to guys that were on his roster last year that were freshmen or underclassmen, but have a year of college basketball, particularly SEC basketball, under their belt. That is, I think, very, very significant to me if that ends up happening. I might not play out that way, but I mean, is it really out of the realm of possibility? You got one, and you said it earlier. It's not just about the money. It's not just about the coaches. It's not just about the institution. It's, I want to try and win a championship, so I'm going to play with this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, because... They give me the best path to potentially do that. I'm not going to call it a dream team, but, you know, you got to have the right pieces in the right places. You start with a big guy. You know, I said earlier, and I think we, I mean, stating some, somewhat the obvious, but, you know, you don't have to have a big five, a true five and a big guy to, to have a great team. But to be a Final Four team, that's always a common denominator. I mean, you just look at the teams that have been there and really what, what has been a centerpiece 
for championship teams, they had a an elite big man generally, or at least a, a serviceable, more than serviceable big guy. And that, yeah, at least you know you got that piece to build your team around. Mm-hmm. So yeah. year after year, in really the last five years, you look at each championship roster; it's it's set up that way. Yeah. Hey, brought to you by APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group. They are equal opportunities employers, equal opportunity employers right here in Northwest Arkansas. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, top pay, benefits, sign-on bonus, uh, benefits that include insurance, retirement, and profit sharing, go to their interactive map, jobs.crh.com. They got a variety of positions available right now. That's jobs.crh.com. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group are equal opportunity employers. More coverage of Arkansas basketball coming up, brought to you by the Limbird Real Estate Group, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and the River Valley. Go to limbirdteam.com for all of your real estate needs. And by Maverick Mill Medical, your wellness and aesthetic center for men in Northwest Arkansas. Look better, live better, love better. Visit maverickmellmedical.com. So we're going to get into our Morning Rush Daily question when we return. The most detestable team in all of sports. Just say, Alexa, play ESPN Arkansas. ESPN Arkansas from TuneIn. This is Clint Sterner, and you're listening to the Morning Rush. This is the Morning Rush. Touchdown, Razorback! Riley Farm Dental at the entrance to Riley. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakali. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouse. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White perch, slab, Sakali, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. Bet Online is the number one source for all your sports betting this season and every season. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends all at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. The fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Go to betonline.ag to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. Pet online where the game starts. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yeah. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones, all he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson, the best in the business. On the Hit That Line podcast network, go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. 
Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-37. Wait for an answer. Some of you know the name John Sterling. Maybe it's a name that you hate. Maybe it's a name you have no idea who that is. He is the legendary radio voice of the New York Yankees. And after more than three decades in that booth, he is retiring, team said on Monday. And they were, this was anticipated for quite some time, but it's finally come down the pipe. Now, he's been a part of many legendary calls over the years, including when they won the World Series back in 1996. The stretch and pitch swung on and popped up again off third. Hayes has room. Hayes makes the catch. Yankees win. Yankees win. Yankees win. Oh, you got to do it. The Yankees win. That's how he, you got to get that that uh, vibration in your in your, that. I don't know how you even describe the what that that sound he makes, but, and he, but that's baseball, Susan. And <laughs> and he does it uh, in a dramatic effect. There, there's a lot of an affection from Yankees fans galore, not just in New York but across the United States. It's one of those bandwagon teams where some people come friends. I've got a couple friends that are Yankees fans. They're all bums. I don't <laughs> know why they think it's acceptable to be in Arkansas and be a New York Yankees fan. But that's neither here nor there. The evil empire. That's why they call it that. I always thought he had the perfect voice to be the Yankees broadcaster. Oh, yeah, because you, you hate the sound of it. And I yeah. think, th- th- listen, there's teams. I hate Kentucky basketball. I hate Ole Miss baseball. I hate Aggie football. Those are my SEC. But to me, the most hateable franchise or sports team in the history of all of sports is the New York Yankees. And I don't think it's close. If you've got some thoughts, you can text us, call us, 877-377-6963. But our Morning Rush Daily question, who's the most hateable team in sports? I don't think it's close. I think it's the New York Yankees because they bought their way to several champions. They didn't didn't win it through great uh, management, or they didn't win it because they they have a great farm. They just bought their way to championships, and that always rubs me the wrong way. They also bought their way to several division round losses, and... ALCS losses, so I mean the money hadn't always, mm-hmm. always worked out. Steinbrenner was a was a figure that was easy to hate, so I'll say that. I'll go with uh, just to be different. How about the Philadelphia Eagles? I think the Eagles I, are. I can get on board with that. You know, old veteran <laughs> stadium, I'm a cowboy fan. buddy Ryan. Yeah, and I think that would speak to a lot of our audience. I think when I grew up, man, I, watching the Cowboys early '90s, late '80s, particularly the early '90s, so. Man, you did not like the Eagles at all. Their fans are are unruly, to say the least. That's being as kind as you can be about them. Buddy Ryan trying to hurt people out there. Yeah, I'll go with the Philadelphia Eagles. What about you, Big C? Are you just jumping on that ship? (sighs) Yeah, I was going to say Cowboys. It just depends on who you ask but um, because it seems like they get a lot of hate. The Lakers with LeBron now, I'm sure, has – I don't know if the NBA is as – I don't know if there's as much passion and stuff as and hatred for teams now as there used to be, but maybe the Lakers. It's I, I will. It's hard to no. uh, say a team other than the Yankees, though. I will say mm-hmm. it's one of those. Teams. It's one of those franchises that makes your blood boil. Justin from Fayetteville says the Yankees, the Cowboys, or the Cubs. Joe and Prairie Grove. Any team that LeBron is on. Let's there we see. Go. Uh, Emmett in Springdale brings up Ty. We are literally trying to buy an NCAA basketball championship. Fair enough, Emmett. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chris in Paris, as a Red Sox fan, he agrees with 100% um, on the same boat that it is the New York Yankees. Joe and Jasper says the Cowboys or the Bad Boy Pistons. Hogwild says the Houston Astros. Yep. Houston that's Astros is right another there. great one. Yeah, that's a great last, one. last five Cheaters. years, I, I mean, Cheetahs. they have. I, I, I remember when I went to an Astros game at Minute Maid in like 2001. No one cared about Houston Astros. No one cared. They weren't hated at all. But now it's like the last five years, that might be the most hated team in 
not just the MLB, but Notre one of them Dame. in all of sports. Notre Dame may be kind of up there. Notre Dame's up there. Yeah. The Catholics, the rich kids, the clowns. They haven't won enough lately, though, for you to really hate. You hate teams that win a lot. People either loved or hated Dale Earnhardt Sr. because he won all the time. People loved or hated Jeff Gordon for the same reason. You got to win a lot in order to be truly hated. Cindy and Shane bring up the mid-90s Knicks. Now, Chuck Barrett would disagree as a Nick fan, uh, but they say because of Spike Lee and the animosity that flowed. They played with the physical style. Pat Riley brought over um, some philosophies. I know he wasn't on the Pistons, but they had similar type of uh, situations and big men that the Detroit Pistons did in the 80s. So, yes, I understand why the New York uh, Knicks are up there. Duke and Coach K is a good one. That's from Joe. How can uh, you hate Coach K, though? All right. Here's it's, how same, you, it's the same reason you don't hate Nick Saban. You, you may not like his team, but you have to respect. The reason I, I don't, mean, I don't hate Nick I, Saban. The reason that I love Nick Saban, the reason I don't like Mike Krzyzewski is because for whatever reason, this drives me nuts, the idea that Duke has not cheated in any way, shape, or form during his tenure that they never paid to get a recruit. It, it was always like it was always like portrayed as like the angel, the sanctuary, the place that can do no wrong. The kids that play basketball the right way. I don't know. This drove Corliss and Scotty and those guys nuts. All they heard about leading up to the '94 championship was how much smarter, how much oh. more skilled, how much better the Duke players were. And there was some there was some racial stuff in the, uh, under the the writing there, and it ticked them off. And I'm glad it did. Because they came over with the trophy and proved they were a better team that night. But yeah, I, I, this idea that he is just like this, and he is revered, but like this untouchable figure that no harm or, or nothing is that that's what drives me up a wall. Well, I, I, I don't even know where to go with that. I was just talking about Coach K. But, you know, I put K and Saban kind of in that same realm. I don't, I, you know, I don't like their teams. I don't like the, the, the fan bases. But you can't do anything but respect their longevity and their consistency. The only thing I can say about Kay is, man, when he had a team that wasn't very good, all of a sudden his back hurt. You know, that, that'd be the only thing that I'd I'd knock him for. You know, he kind of checked it. I don't want to say check. I mean, back troubles, back trouble. But but kind of kind of coincidental that hey, one of the worst teams he ever had in his thirty plus years. That's when his back got got really bad and had to have surgery. Tank brings up on our uh, YouTube channel, which you can always watch us on YouTube X. Instagram, Twitch, and um, what's the other one? What am I missing? YouTube X. There's one other one. Uh, he brings up that Christian Leitner is the reason what he hates that he hates Duke, who Leitner yeah. beat you in the 90 Final Four want, in Denver. I wonder if the Chiefs will eventually be as hated, hmm. more hated, if they keep winning. They're up there. Again, winning's the key to being hated. Yeah. We talked about this last. Did you see, before we before we talked to our buddy Bruce Dan, did you see that the Kansas City Chiefs, president is threatening basically threatening that they might move out of kansas city yeah we talked about that last week i couldn't remember if you were there for not i thought yeah. that was clay but no we, well yeah, we we talked about that the fact that uh they want a new stadium built i you know we'll see what they do with this is the game that's played in every market you know i can't and we were talking about them moving to dallas i can't see Dallas. i know dallas has moved up and they're like the third largest fourth largest market but i i can't see jerry jones letting Two NFL franchises be in that same metro, but can, does he have a choice? Can he? Well, he I can. guess he. It's it's got to be voted on by well, every owner, owner, correct? Yeah. I can't see. I think it's. I don't all. think it's good for the league to do that. Now, is there, is there another, you know, alternative, another place? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. But Lamar Hunt would be you, rolling over in his grave if they move that franchise out of Kansas City. He would I mean, be ashamed. Of his family for well, doing. How that. do you know that he would be rolling how over? How do you know that? It's a thought on this very Pro- station. Prove that it is a thought <laughs> that it's just the same way that. But where was he from? Where did he make his fortune? Dallas, right? Yeah, in in oil, <laughs> oil and gas. Yeah. yeah, and they own. I think it's FC Dallas too. But if I remember that correctly, and their son, I think his name's Nah, played down there for SMU. But yeah, he would be. I then again. And the I daughter in bad to look at. No. Yeah. Gracie, no. That is, again, your Morning Rush Daily question presented by our friends at Red River Dodge and Heber Street, the most hateable team in sports. Red, R- Red River Dodge and Heber Springs, Arkansas's number one. Ram dealer, log on at redriverdodge.com.
So is it the Kentucky Wildcats as we welcome in our buddy Bruce Den? Uh, he, he, Bruce didn't. Uh, he had to jump on a plane. Oh, he did. But, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I would guess that Bruce would probably say it's the Kentucky Wildcats. And I, I didn't ask. I didn't ask Cal about this. But think about this. Think about the last fifteen years. And I know that Arkansas played Memphis early on in Cal's tenure, and then they severed that game. And I hope they play Memphis and Penny Hardaway again. I don't think that's on Cal's list of initiatives. But think about how much you've hated John Calipari the last 15 years, and really 15 to 20 years. And then it shifted to not only you love Cal, but you also love are going to love Kentucky players that you hated last year. Yeah. We do have Bruce now, so we can get to it. Uh, Bruce Stanton. We were, we were talking before we get to our rankings, Bruce. Most detestable easiest to hate team in all of sports pro or, or professional real quick who, who would be top of your list as a tennessee fan alabama football i figured you'd go there or kentucky basketball one or the other that's second all right no, we, we pretty well had you pegged we knew there would be one and two in your list all right let's get to it the pradco pyramid of power for this week who are the best baseball teams in the sec <laughs> Let's find out. Perhaps I could be of some assistance. This is the Pradco Pyramid of Power. Oh, what happens at the top this week? First time we've had to deal with a team potentially not being number one other than the Arkansas Razorbacks. Hmm. So what what happens this week? I'll tell you. I had to move the Hogs down after losing the series. It's narrow. They barely lost on Saturday. But, Bruce, I got Kentucky elevated to number one. They've won five consecutive SEC series this week. It's a or this year. It's a huge week for them coming up. They're thirteen and one in league play. They've ascended to number three in the D one baseball poll. I've got Kentucky at the top of the Pradco Pyramid of Power. Well, I've been uh, touting Kentucky in the poll all year, so I'm I'm right there with you. They're number one this week. They've got Georgia, Ole Miss, uh, Bama, Missouri, and Auburn are teams that they have uh, taken the series from. Um, so far, their one loss was to Missouri back earlier in the year. They play Tennessee, maybe the biggest weekend, biggest series uh, of the year uh, so five. far coming up. Uh, is yeah, you have two top four teams going at number three versus number four. So it's going to be a huge weekend in Lexington. All right, I got big the go ahead. No, I was just because I hit the big one. Can they can they stop Tennessee's bats? That'll be the big deal. Yeah. All right, move the Razorbacks down a slot to number two. You know. Some are, I, I think, wondering if it's all going to, to unravel and come apart on the Hogs. You know, they lost narrowly on Saturday in extra innings, an error from the pitching th- pitcher throwing it back to first base, uh, provided the winning run for Bama. Uh, Bama just dominated Arkansas on Sunday. But Arkansas, 30-5, and 12-3 and in league play, one series loss. I've got Arkansas at number two in the Pradco Pyramid of Power. Yep. Totally on the same page. All right. A&M, maybe you could make the case, should be higher than both of those. I think it's really narrow between one, two, and three. A&M has one series loss that was to Florida. They've taken care of Auburn, Mississippi State, South Carolina, and now Vanderbilt this past weekend. They take on Alabama this weekend. If they win or sweep that series, they sweep that series. It's going to be hard to keep Bama out of uh, one of those top two spots. I got Texas A&M. I mean, pardon me. Keep A&M out of the one of those top two spots. I got A&M at number three. Yeah, A&M, first two games, uh, aggregate score against Vanderbilt is 24 to nothing. Mm-hmm. Their uh, pitch is working. They're swinging the bat. They, they're, they're looking pretty tough right now. Yeah, they're peaking at the wrong time is what they're doing. A&M at three. <laughs> I got Tennessee at four. They're 30 and six, 10 and five in league play. Their only series losses to Alabama. Series wins over Ole Miss, Georgia, Auburn, and LSU. We mentioned earlier the weekend coming up with Kentucky. Huge weekend. I got Tennessee at number four. Where do you have them? I got them at number four. Right. They're swinging the bat, and it uh, looks like sweeping LSU is the norm now, right? Yeah, I guess so. LSU is uh, really uh, falling on hard times this year. All right, so we agree. Kentucky one, Arkansas two, A&M three, Tennessee four. We square up to that point. I got Vanderbilt at five. Now, they had a rough weekend. Uh, got, got, got handled this past weekend. They're eight and seven in league play. They play Florida this weekend, but A and M cleaned their clock, like you mentioned. I've 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 demoted Vanderbilt to fifth in the Pradco Pyramid of Power. 
Well, I demoted them even further. I actually had Alabama based on the strength of uh, winning two out of three against number one Arkansas. I moved them up to number five this week. Okay, I got Alabama at six this week, so we just flip flopped the last two. Uh, Vanderbilt's conference records eight and seven. Bama's is six and nine. Uh, that was the uh, my reasoning behind that. But you're right, uh, impressive series win. Um, you know, we'll see. But you look at their series wins: Arkansas, South Carolina, Tennessee. And Georgia are their four series wins for Bama. Their only series loss in their six and nine record is to uh, Kentucky, and they got swept in that series. They have not. Uh, let's see, they did sweep Georgia, but uh, you know when you look at Alabama right now, that's 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 kind of where I'm at with Alabama, number six. And I think I think this weekend when they t- uh, take on A and M, they win that series, and then you know, you're going to turn this whole conference kind of upside down in this Brad Co pyramid of power. Well, when you look at the D1 baseball poll, top four teams are SEC teams. So it's just uh, the cream's rising to the top. It's probably already been there all year anyway. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, where we get, that's where I, what I have this week. Kentucky, Arkansas, A&M, Tennessee, Vandy, and Bama. My top six, Bruce and I just flip-flopped five and six. He's got Alabama five and Vanderbilt six. Ty, where are we right? Where are we wrong in the Pradco Pyramid of Power? I think the only thing you could possibly change is having A&M above Kentucky. Uh, I, I think Arkansas. Having them, how, how would you have them above? We got Kentucky at number one. That's what I'm saying. Have A&M above Kentucky and put Kentucky down in the second tier. And Arkansas think, uh, at three? You'd have Arkansas. Um, you just flip-flop those two, basically. That's all you do. So I, I think Kentucky, there's... You're, you're saying Kentucky at three and A&M at one. Yes, correct. Okay. That's basically what you just flip-flop them. That's the only argument. Hmm. I mean, you can... Vanderbilt and Bama, they're interchangeable. As again, Kentucky and Ambit, but, but I might put A and M. I think, uh, I think that that D one pace baseball poll that you mentioned. Uh, one of them, I, I get confused between the coaches poll and the D one baseball poll. But one of them had, if not both of them, had A and M. D one baseball has A and M one, Arkansas yeah. two, Kentucky three, Tennessee four. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. They have that on top. So that would be the only thing that uh, that I would say possibly. Could I would be just there. say that you know you look at A and M's conference record at eleven and four, and Kentucky's thirteen and one. Yeah. You know, they beat better teams, though. I, I think if I remember reading well, that right, A and M's beaten Auburn, Mississippi State, South Carolina, and Vanderbilt. Lost to Florida, Kentucky's got Georgia, Ole Miss, Bama, Missouri, and Auburn. So yeah. there's a little difference, but not not a ton. We'll find out this week about A and M, you know, and Alabama this week. I think we know about A and M based on what they've done, Bruce. Yes, I yes, think, I think we do know. I mean, beating. Sweeping Vandy and, like you said, dominating those first two games the way they did. Uh, South Carolina, Arkansas is going to find out about South Carolina. That's not going to be an easy series. The Razorbacks are there. And let's see, you got one, two, I think it's four different top 20 matchups this weekend. Tennessee and Kentucky uh, is um, uh, number four versus number three. Arkansas and South Carolina, number two versus number 20. A&M and Bama, uh, number one versus number 18. So, I mean, you've got a huge amount of top top teams playing each other and the, the bottom kind of plays themselves this weekend. Big separation weekend and weekend number six of SEC baseball. So I'm looking yeah, forward to I'm, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching uh, Tennessee and uh, Kentucky. I think that'll uh, go a long way in uh, deciding the East who comes out of that one with the series win. Yeah. All right, uh Still, uh, still processing, unpacking. I'm, I'm not sure how much we got to talk about uh, the John Calipari stuff last week. It's really kind of the news was unfolding, the press conference, and all of that. As as we've had a week to kind of settle in. Uh, any more, uh, any any additional thoughts or observations from you on uh, the new tenure of John Calipari at Arkansas? Well, I think all my Kentucky friends are trying to work themselves into a frenzy. Pretty impressive. They sold out Rupp Arena for Mark Pope's introduction um but no i mean cal's got big z coming that's a high profile transfer uh coming in through the portal plays a lot like chet holmgren for the thunder seven foot two shoots three those behind the back passes um ought to be exciting to see him uh play for the razorbacks yeah. hey when's that full moon coming up i know uh that those those bass will be spawning and uh that, that that's always prime time here in April for the fish. Oh, we're less than two weeks away, and uh, just need to have your yum dingers ready. Elder's Magic, Watermelon Red, throw them in the back of the pockets, and uh, hang on. It's 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 about to get great. Yeah. 
Where's the water temperature right now? How much more do we need it to come up? Well, where I've been fishing, uh, a lot on Broken Bow and a lot on Ozark Pool of the river, uh, water's in the low 60s. So, you know, we're just three, four degrees away from them really busting loose. But, man, it's, it's happening right now. All right. So get that yum dinger at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, LearNet.com, and tackle stores all over the place. It's the Yum Dinger made by Pradco in what, three, four, five, and six inch sizes? That's it. And I'm running through DFW Airport right now. I got a suitcase full of Yum Dingers <laughs> getting ready to go I'm, fishing in Alabama. <laughs> I wonder what TSA thought about that. <laughs> well, I'm fortunate at Fort Smith. They know me, so they, they kind of trust that those are fishing lures. <laughs> right. Well, enjoy your trip, and uh, we'll see you next weekend here. All right, talk to you. All right, that's Bruce Stan Pradco fishing with us. Running through the airport, one thing I'll be doing later today as well. With uh, I won't have fishing lures, though, in my bag, unfortunately. So. Yeah, I, he gave me some for last week, and I guess the only disappointment trip about in, in Bo, uh, the disappointing part about Bozeman is we didn't go fishing. I mean, how? I, Why not? I, I, the, the guy I stayed with um, <laughs> didn't want to go. And well, why didn't all, he three so others, all three others wanted to go. Then why didn't y'all go? Cause I wasn't gonna be like I wasn't gonna go off and do our own thing since he was accommodating us that weekend. But I, I just I didn't his his rationale and reasoning didn't make any sense. He's like, well, the snow's just melted and the, we'd have to drive. It's like that's we're, we're in Bozeman, freaking Montana. Why would we not go? But, that's like a common know. thing for him. He's probably know. like f- kind of sick. of I don't. Fishing. Yeah, I don't know if he got tired of it or what. But yes, we didn't go. And Bruce gave me these these awesome Pratco. He like a really good then, angler. Is he a good? Is he, he an experienced? angler he has fish photos and and stuff and he seems to take some <laughs> he just didn't want to mess with t- trying to t- i guess uh, he didn't want to mess with taking ty he didn't want to be ty's fishing guide that day that's clay's, what that was all clay's about. rod made it back to to arkansas and i've got the whatever the reel is i don't the, the cast or whatever it is but it's it's back <laughs> This is why his buddy didn't want to go fishing. He's not. It's all unfolding right before he, us right now. He's a fake. It's very clear. He's he's city too. He's a fake country boy. He tries that country. He's not that good. But I. Well, yeah, just because you go fishing, you don't have to be country to go fishing. Well, there's people out there, and everyone knows who I'm talking about. That pretend, and I'm. This is not. This is not a. Just to be clear, this is not a Clay Henry. I don't want people assuming that I'm talking about Clay here. That try and act countryer than they are. And or try to do mm. things to Who's make them talking about big city? try to make them clay. more than again. That's not a shot of clay. <laughs> he was saying that during direct. the break. He said, "Wait till you hear what I'm going to say about clay <laughs> in the next segment." Not again. I want to <laughs> reiterate that it's not a shot at Clay Henry, Becca, Sarah, Jean <laughs> Ann. It's not a shot yeah, at your you're dad. Not coming and your, over for dinner again? Oh, I, well, I wasn't invited to begin with, but I'm just talking about within the friend group, someone you know that tries to say they're they within love our person. group. Just in general, the proverbial in the friend group, in the we or whatever. You have someone like that. Surely you're you're looking at me like you're telling me you don't have someone that that tries to act like they're more country than they are. We all have someone in our friend group. Only that one like I know. That. Some just one guy that uh, talks about bailing hay in the summers and all the time he spent on his family farm. You know. That goes fishing once a year in Montana. That's the only guy I know. Didn't even go fishing. <laughs> and then didn't go fishing. Again, the only bad part of the trip. Broke 100. So you went out there and you drug golf clubs out there. Clay's, you drug a fishing rod, rod out there. And, and then you didn't even, didn't even go. No. We explored. We just didn't fish. Did you have to pay to take all that stuff? Or uh, Southwest, it's the two-bag oh. thing. So, yeah. no. It was it was nice. I, I, I do like flying Southwest with the exception of lining up in line for the yeah, I flew Southwest this weekend. I, I know what you mean. All right, more to come. I tell you, one take that fly rod, hang on to it. I don't know if I can get Clay to go. I don't know. Maybe I can get him a patience pill. He said it was a thousand bucks. I don't. I, I'm going to give it back to him it's as a, soon as possible. It's a mid range fly rod. That's not. That's a good one, not a great one. You know, I, I don't know if it's a sage or whatever. But we'll take it. We'll go to Gaston's. They have uh, experts on fly fishing there. They have a couple, and they'll. First, start you out with casting lessons on the runway out there. That's where you. That's Perfect. what you got to start. When when my uh, when my buddies Jim Arnold and Joe Fred Young started teaching me how to cast, we got out in the yard at Matt Holland's house, his, his previous place, and we just mm-hmm. started casting. And you've got to get that rhythm, and it's a motion. So go to Gaston's. They've got experts there. They'll they'll spend time on your casting. They'll spend time in the classroom 
showing you about tying flies, and then they'll take you out for day two or three, whatever you want, of just some some great fly fishing and, and learning the sport. Because Clay's right, there really is nothing like getting, you know, a, a great rainbow or brown on the end of a fly rod. It is, it is exhilarating, and uh, it's a lot of fun. If you want to learn about fly fishing, Gaston's can teach you, 870-431-5202. Gaston's, a first-class time, every time. The Cal Era is here. Championship Under Construction is brought to you by Limburg Real Estate Group, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and the River Valley. For all your real estate needs, go to LimburgTeam.com. Limburg Real Estate Group, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and the River Valley. For all your real estate needs, go to LimburgTeam.com. Maverick Mail Medical, your wellness and aesthetic center for men in Northwest Arkansas. Look better, live better, love better. Visit MaverickMailMedical.com. Hey, this is Landon Jackson, and you're listening to ESPN Arkansas. Engagement season is in full swing, and Diamond Center wants to be part of your story. For the entire month of April, we're offering five years of 0% interest on purchases. That's right, five years, 60 months, zero interest financing. There has never been a better time to pick out the perfect engagement ring and pop the question. Let Diamond Center help you begin this next step of your journey together with five years of zero interest financing for the entire month of April on all custom designed and in-stock pieces of jewelry. Diamond Center, a legacy of love. The best selection of RVs is now even better at Wheels RV in Springdale. Wheels RV has added Brinkley RVs to the already loaded lineup of Grand Design and Forest River products. See the Brinkley Model Z, the latest innovation in luxury fifth wheels. And like always, every new RV comes with a lifetime warranty so you can camp with confidence. So stop in and find out why Wheels has been voted best RV dealer year after year. Wheels RV, five miles west of exit 72 off of I-49 in Springdale. Seek, explore, discover with Wheels RV. Hey, Hog fans. This is Matt. This is Elizabeth. And this is the reigning champion of my own conference, Robert. You do realize that's not a thing. Well, I did receive a plaque commemorating that accomplishment. Yeah, and I was elected the president of Mars. Anyway, Hog fans, it's that time again. It's It's baseball baseball season. season. And Hog fans, the stadium shop has everything you need for Razorback baseball. From t-shirts, sweatshirts, man cave stuff, and even a Razorback original, the bases loaded beer hats. Plus, ladies, as well as a restocked women's section, we have the bases loaded beer stein boppers. Yeah, it's kind of like those old time space alien antennas you know yeah well not really so when you're in Fayetteville stop by the store at 989 South Razorback Road next door to Baum Walker Stadium or you can shop us on them WW interweb face Grim. you get it Matthew. dad it. do you mean the website yeah which is shop on Razorback.com that's shop on Razorback.com or call us at 479 Stadium that's 479-782-3486 as always go, go Hawks Hi folks, Larry Rath here for Rath Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center where it's spring cleaning time. The lot is blooming with fresh road-ready certified inventory and weekly specials that could save you up to $4,000. If you're keeping the car you have, let us take care of it for you in the Meineke Car Care Center with half-off brakes and buy three, get one free on all tires. Better yet, trade today and save up to $4,000 during spring cleaning at Rath Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center where all the happiest drivers are rolling with Rath. Just north of Phoenix on Towson, Fort Smith. Have you heard? TGI Fridays is having happy hour Monday through Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. to close with half-priced drinks and $5 select appetizers, including potato skin, spinach dip, pot stickers, and much more. Plus, you can get in on 50-cent wing Monday from 5 p.m. to close and karaoke on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting at 8 p.m. It's all at TGI Fridays, I-540 and Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. Have your travel plans changed? Looking for a place that's close to home and keep your family safe? Gaston's White River Resort is located on the beautiful White River. They offer private accommodations in their lodges and cabins. Most cabins have a fully equipped kitchen or let their restaurant staff deliver to your cabin. Call 870-431-5202 and change your plans to Gaston's White River Resort. Gaston's White River Resort, a first class time, every time. At Dobson Fiber, we're helping you build stronger connections by bringing the fastest internet network available to your business. Why Fiber? Fiber internet provides reliable, symmetrical, blazing speeds. Without any interruptions or buffering, you can rely on Dobson for all your data needs. With Dobson Fiber as your premium internet provider, you can focus on the things that matter and the connections you build. To see if fiber is available to you, visit Dobson.net. Dobson Fiber, building stronger connections. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Arkansas football. 
It's the players running through the A. Hog hats. It's more than 70,000 fans calling Woo Pig Suey. Yes, sir. Guys, I've got just one thing I want to say to you. Touchdown, Arkansas! Season. This is your hog update on the morning rush. Brought to you by Mr. Sparky. Need a licensed electrician to service your home? For one of their local pros, call 888 8Sparky. They're talking about Jacoby Criswell entering the transfer portal. The Arkansas Morton native uh, again started his career in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, transferred to Arkansas. Uh, hasn't officially come down the pipe, it sounds like, just yet, but uh, plans to enter it, and Arkansas now possibly having to deal with less quarterback depth overall. Thought there was a chance of this happening. I was, I'm going to be honest, I was taken aback when he wasn't the presumed number two quarterback. I thought, ta- I mean, Taylor Green was going to be the starter, but I just assume, eh, Jacoby will be two. Uh, well, apparently it's it's going to be either Malachi single lieutenant or J- K.J. Jackson, it sounds like, and uh, K.J. Jackson making quite an impression as a true freshman from Montgomery, Alabama. And so we'll see what comes out in the next day or so about Criswell and his future here in Fayetteville, if at all. What was it uh, Chuck said, I think, his last Thursday? K.J. Jackson is the real deal. So I, I think you've, you know, I, I'm I'm interested to see him play more in, in higher leverage spots, but I, I'm not concerned. I'm not uh, overwhelmingly concerned that there's not enough quarterback depth. You hate it for an Arkansas kid who left the state because there wasn't a spot, comes back thinking there's a spot. Now we'll see where he ends up. But, uh, you know, good kid from Moralton, played for a great high school coach and Cody McNabb, and you just hope he lands in a place where he can get a lot of snaps. Yep. So we will keep you updated right here on the Morning Rush as well as Halftime and Ruskin and Zach on Jacoby Criswell's status. Do know the status of Big Z. He's coming to Fayetteville. Oh, Big Z. I'm the Keep an eye on Z. He's a face-up guy, can knock in jump shots. Big Z for three. Are you kidding me? For real. First commitment for John Calipari in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Zanimir Evicic. I think I said it uh, worse than I did about 45 minutes ago. But that is the first guy to uh, commit, not signed. I don't think just yet. They'll probably announce that within the coming week or so. We'll see what, what other Kentucky players. You've got Kentucky commits that have gotten out of their national letter of intent. You've gotten former Kentucky Wildcats that have entered the transfer portal. I don't know how many Mark Pope is going to be able to retain in Lexington, Kentucky. I would say a lot more of a chance that they end up in Fayetteville, Arkansas. But uh, it's Cal's army, and he's he's building up his cavalry as we speak. Well, and you hope the snowball starts rolling downhill that – as you get more prized recruits and, and players that other players want to play with and, uh, you know, trying to build a roster that, that looks like a championship roster that players see what's going on and everybody wants to be around the hot thing, what's going on right now, the cool thing. I think Arkansas has become that. So we'll see. Hopefully by the end of the week or over the weekend that, that snowball really starts rolling down the slope here a little bit. You got Arkansas baseball back in action tonight, Baumwalker Stadium. Dave Van Horn had some comments following the Alabama game three loss. What he thought about Texas Tech. Uh, take a listen. I just want to play good. I think it's great that we're playing good team with a power five team, big name, a lot of tradition. I think it's probably the best thing that could happen to us after losing two straight. We get to, you know, we, we got to play good. We got to play good or we'll get beat again. And I think it's good for this team. They need to play good. ESPN2 is the television channel that you can watch your Arkansas Razorback baseball team tonight. Not the number one team in the country. That was taken by the Texas A&M Aggies in a couple polls, but still a matchup that you want to keep an eye on or you're listening to right here on ESPN Arkansas, most of these stations, as well as hitthatline.com and our brand new Hit That Line Now app. So so tonight, it's at 7 o'clock, and then the other game is tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Tonight on ESPN2, tomorrow on the SEC Network is the setup for the Texas Tech Red Raider, Raiders and the Arkansas Razorbacks the next two days. Yeah, and uh, good midweek test. He talked about the players getting a chance in the rotation. You're running out of chances in midweek for, for guys that are trying to crack this lineup, and right now he's looking for bats. He's looking to, to inject some offense, and Texas Tech provides that kind of of, of test. That, I mean, Texas Tech's the kind of team you could easily see in a regional. 
Ben Bybee. So, yeah, get, get, it's a good chance for people right here to to earn some playing time. Yep, he's on the mound for you tonight in the matchup with the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Gymnastics team is going to get a send-off in about 45 minutes from the Lewis Center as they head uh, to their next comp. And I'm forgetting, I had it written down, so what, Nationals? I want to make sure I had that right. How to say it? Nationals? The Say that Gymnastics again. team. Big C, help me out there. I think the you might be right. the elite okay. eight. The, yeah, it's the elite eight, um, the final eight teams. It's kind of like Division Two does basketball yeah. and like you do College World Series, uh, you know, with the final eight teams. You get the final eight teams in the in the, in the Nationals or the elite eight, as they uh, call it in some circles. Uh, last thing here, I saw um, that former Arkansas Razorback and uh, former Springdale High School and McGee, Arkansas native Mark Keisha Davis was drafted by the, uh, I think it's the New York Liberty last night at number 11. Of course, Caitlin Clark goes number one. I'm going to watch the, I think it's the Indiana Fever versus the Chicago team because Angel Reese went to Chicago. I will actually watch that game this year. That's probably the only, Indiana, I, I don't think I've ever watched from start to finish a WNBA game, but I will watch that matchup this year. Okay. I mean, I, I'll see what she does. I mean, I, will people still be as interested moving forward? There will probably be some matchups like that, but um, I think this. I'll be interested to see if college women's college basketball can sustain this spike, not at the levels of of the ratings they've had, but you know they're going to have to develop more personalities and stars because they've went to a new level. Can they sustain that? We'll see if this injection of personalities in the WNBA boosts their product because they've really flatlined so far I, I in wonder general if interest. A lot of women are going to try to model their game after Caitlin Clark to try to be <laughs> that next Caitlin Clark, try well, to model it in what way? I mean, shoot she, from shoot from anywhere, you know, kind of well, like she can't, because she can make them. I mean, she's just a elite shooter. I mean, you can model your game after somebody, but if you don't have the talent or the skill to put it in the hole, then she did it after Steph Curry and um well, a lot of basketball be, players have have done that. We got to mention, I mean the women's basketball national championship railed the men's yeah. in terms of I mean, just railed it. And first off, it was a Sunday it, afternoon versus a, a Monday night. Yeah, but, but, it's idiotic. But nonetheless. It's idiotic to start the game at 9:20 Eastern time. I said it before it happened. I said it after. It's just dumb. Whoever's the executive that clear that's an idiot well, and he's been to that be way fired. forever though. No, not, not, I don't think it's nine. The men's national championship game? I don't think it's been. I, I think it's, it's typically, always been Monday night at, at around 8 o'clock. So. I thought it was like 7.20 typically. Well, either way, that's – has that? I don't think that's ever happened Well, hang before. on. Now, you're correct. Yeah. You were in what time zone? You were, you were all the way out in, in Phoenix. Phoenix, yeah. You, I mean, I guess you could have started it earlier, but, you know, got to make it – because let's see, 8.20, 7.20, 20 there, right? I mean, you don't want to start the game at local time mid afternoon. I mean, you want to start the game at three thirty local on a Monday. I think they have to in order yeah. to get the ratings yeah. they want. I think that 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 played out. It's in San Antonio. This You're next right. Year. It's generally been an hour earlier, but because of where they played this year, yeah, being that you know being out the out west. I don't know if if San Antonio is is far. If it's, I don't think it's Mountain Time. I think it's still Central Time. But uh, that yeah, is the Texas. That's the the setup for it. But it's. East or not east west? I don't know. As I, I get confused on the time zones because Florida has some central time and then has eastern. And I just get confused where the the line is for some of these cities. San in the Antonio state. is just South Texas. I mean, just they're all lined down that triangle. You know, it's, it's, it's the entire state of Texas, not mountain time. You may get over that panhandle and okay. get get there, but most. I mean, ninety percent of Texas. It may be all, but I, I think it may be in, in New Mexico for a change. Mm -hmm. The I, that is your hog update this morning. It is brought to you by our friends at always at Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with Benny Malarkey. Call 888 Sparky. It is our number three coming up momentarily here on the Morning Rush. We're going to talk to Tom Murphy. We've got some pro hog updates, including Oklahoma City Thunder with Isaiah Joe, Jalen Williams, the number one team. In the West, Ricky Council just got a contract extension. Happy for him and the Philadelphia 76ers and some other former Razorbacks that will have an impact in these upcoming NBA playoffs. Hey, Arts Barbecue, Burgers, and more will be at it again today. Tuesday through Saturdays are, uh, are their days. You can get over there, I bet, right now. They've got that smoker loaded down with pork butts and ribs and a couple briskets in there. I'd love to have some of them baby back ribs today. Tender, delicious, bite-off-the-bone ribs. I'm not a fall off the bone guy. I'm a bite off the bone. They they do them perfectly. You get a, a third rack, half rack, or you can go full rack and have plenty left over. They got you covered. Wonderful sides. Their beans are awesome. 
The mac and cheese is great. And if you want to switch it up, try that okra. Their potato salad, I was craving some of that over the weekend. Their potato salad is really good. If you like mustard potato salad. Arch Barbecue, burgers and more. Rogers Avenue next to Buddy's. Call ahead. They'll have it ready. 452-2550 at Arch Barbecue, burgers and more. Our- it started as a dream. And here you are. It's moving day. But wait, isn't moving supposed to be stressful? Oh, that's right. You bought your home using Weikert Realtors. Your Weikert agent guided you from start to finish to help make sure we found you your perfect place. Dream, move, home, Weikert. Call your local Weikert Realtors office today and make your move. And look for our bright yellow signs. At Weikert Realtors, we sell more because we do more. Each Weikert franchised office is independently owned and operated. Hello there, homeowner. Roger Scott for Leaf Guard Gutters of Arkansas. Are you tired of dealing with clogged gutters, climbing ladders, and worrying about potential damage to your home? Well, listen up to me now. Leaf Guard of Arkansas has got you covered. Introducing Leaf Guard, the only true one-piece seamless covered gutter system on the market guaranteed to never, ever clog. With Leaf Guard, you can kiss goodbye to all the hassle of climbing up and cleaning out all that muck and mud and shingle grit. No more hiring someone else to do it, or worse yet, risking serious damage and issues by doing nothing at all. Spring is finally here, which means it's time for Leaf Guard's famous ugly gutter event. Leaf Guard will swoop in, take down, and haul away all those unsightly gutters at absolutely no charge, and you'll receive an incredible 60% off installation on a whole house LeafGuard gutter system. But wait, there's more. Ask about the 0% financing options and additional discounts for seniors and military personnel. Do not let ugly gutters ruin your home's curb appeal or cause costly damage. Call 501-664-5400 or visit LeafGuardingMore.com to schedule your free estimate today. LeafGuard of Arkansas, protecting your home one seamless gutter at a time. The best selection of RVs is now even better at Wheels RV in Springdale. Wheels RV has added Brinkley RVs to the already loaded lineup of Grand Design and Forest River products. See the Brinkley Model Z, the latest innovation in luxury fifth wheels. And like always, every new RV comes with a lifetime warranty so you can camp with confidence. So stop in and find out why Wheels has been voted best RV dealer year after year. Wheels RV, five miles west of exit 72 off of I-49 in Springdale. Seek, explore, discover with Wheels RV. This is the morning rush have your travel plans changed looking for a place that's close to home and keep your family safe gaston's white river resort is located on the beautiful white river they offer private accommodations in their lodges and cabins most cabins have a fully equipped kitchen or let their restaurant staff deliver to your cabin call 870-431-5202 and change your plans to gaston's white river resort gaston's white river resort a first class time every time at dobson fiber we're helping you build stronger connections by bringing the fastest internet network available to your business why fiber fiber internet provides reliable symmetrical blazing speeds without any interruptions or buffering you can rely on dobson for all your data needs with dobson fiber as your premium internet provider you can focus on the things that matter and the connections you build to see if fiber is available to you, visit Dobson.net. Dobson Fiber, building stronger connections. Hmm, let's see. Leaky faucet Tuesday. Water flooding the yard. Hmm, better put that down for the middle of the month when the bills aren't due. Honey, what are you doing? Planning our plumbing problems, of course. You can't plan our plumbing problems, but you should plan our plumber. What do you mean? Like all important contacts, I keep West Ark Plumbing in my phone. They're always there when we need them, and they don't overcharge since they know we don't plan our plumbing problems. Here, honey, here's their number. 646-5151. Thanks, babe. West Ark Plumbing. We keep you flowing. Husbands, sons, daughters, honor your wife or mother for Mother's Day at the inaugural Mystery at the Port Legacy Ball, benefiting Heart to Heart Pregnancy and Family Care Center on May 11th at the U.S. Marshals Museum. Buy your tickets today for this 1940s mystery dinner, coupled with an exciting night of investigative entertainment and lively dancing with the band Who Shot JR. For more information, call 479-452-2260. Hey, Ty Richardson for A Cut Above Lawn and Landscaping. They service commercial and residential lawns for weed management and fertilization for a lush, healthy lawn. Need bush hogging? They do that too. A Cut Above also offers tree and limb removal. Don't forget hauling and dumpster rental as well. More than just a mowing service, they're A Cut Above. Call or text today at 479-719-5605. Lawn, landscaping, power washing, stump grinding, leaf removal, mulching, flea tick, and mosquito control. 719-5605. 
Have you heard? TGI Fridays is having happy hour Monday through Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. to close with half-price drinks and $5 select appetizers, including potato skin, spinach dip, pot stickers, and much more. Plus, you can get in on 50 Cent Wing Monday from 5 p.m. to close. And karaoke on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting at 8 p.m. It's all at TGI Fridays, I-540 and Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith. When your carpets, upholstery, and floors look dirty and stained, call your local Service Master Clean at 646 4087. Service Master Clean is an industry leader and can remove the toughest stains from your home or office. And they back their work with a satisfaction guarantee. Eliminate dirt and grime from your carpet, hardwood, tile, and laminate floors. Call your local Service Master Clean, 479 646 4087. That's 646 4087 or online at servicemasterpc.com. ESPN Arkansas weather. For today, showers and thunderstorms will be rumbling on through our high temperatures today, mid to upper 70s. We will start to dry things out tonight. The showers and thunderstorms ending from north to south, but overnight low will drop down in the low to mid 60s. And then we're back to sunshine Wednesday, a high low to mid 80s. I'm Sally Russell with your forecast on ESPN Arkansas. The weather is brought to you by Forest Grant Incorporated, committed to setting the standard of excellence since 1936. K-E-R-X, Paris, Fort Smith. Hey, we can't make you a morning person, but we can make your morning. ESPN 95.3. This hour of the Morning Rush is brought to you by Farm Credit. From farms to land, livestock, equipment, and more, Farm Credit finances it all. Learn more at myaglender.com. Big C for three. Are you kidding me? Real. Oh, so Everybody wants to know about Big Z. Pronounce just your first name. So my first name is Zvonimir. 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 All right, say it with me. Zvonimir. Okay. Last name. Ivishic. Ivishic. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> is that good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm calling him Big Z. You call him the right name. Hey, this is Darren McFadden. You're listening to The Morning Rush. <laughs> Live from the Bush Light Studio. Bush. Heard all across ESPN Arkansas and HitThatLine.com. Hit that line. This is the Morning Rush with Ty Richardson, Tommy Kraft, and Chuck Barrett. You're in need of a serious attitude adjustment, young man. You better get your priorities straight. Produced by Christian Johnston. In spite of the juvenile snickers of some, this is a serious matter. Call or text the Morning Rush on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. With six locations in Springdale and Bensonville, a good deal is never too far away. You don't need to wear a ball cap, man. You need to let those golden locks flow. Yes, sir. It is hour number three of the Morning Rush here on a bandwagon Tuesday. Big Z commits to Arkansas basketball yesterday. You heard Coach Cal uh, discussing how to pronounce his first and last name. And we've tried time and time again this morning. Sometimes we've had success. Sometimes we have failed when it comes to not just that. But trying to figure out who's going to end up with his Arkansas basketball team. What's, where is John Calperi right now? Who's he talking to? Who does he want to join him? in Fayetteville, Arkansas, freshmen that he had committed in Lexington or guys that were playing with him last year inside of Rupp Arena. That will play out in the coming weeks. We're going to see some more news. I set the over-under at seven players, so both recruits and guys that were Wildcats last year to join him in Fayetteville, and I might go over. I parked ballparked it at eight. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out as we continue on this week. What do you think the Bet Saracen app would have on that? What would the over-under if we had the Bet Saracen app up and rolling on under would join. under would be plus two sixty, over would be like minus three hundred. Yeah, but what would the I guess the line be? Would it be six and a half? Would it be? I think it's six and a half. Okay. I, uh, six and a half, five and a half. But what do you, he, we think Arkansas's odds because didn't they they moved already with, with with no roster just based on Coach Cal's taking this job. So I'll be interested when they come out with odds to win the national championship or make a Final Four and all that on the Bet Saracen app. Uh, Kind of where that would be. If you don't have the Bet Saracen app, be sure and get that on your phone, tablet, or computer. All of our conversation about the championship under construction here at Arkansas is brought to you by the Limburg Real Estate Group, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and the River Valley. For all of your real estate needs, go to LimburgTeam.com and by Maverick Mill Medical, your wellness and aesthetic center for men in Northwest Arkansas. Look better, live better, love better. Visit Maverick Mill Medical 
com. So I was hoping I could get Clay Henry's approval this past week, and he just texted me, did you get to fish? It's already oh, disappointed in me. I think he's going to be more disappointed, just unfortunately. Just tell him you I did. can't lie. It's on air, and it will make its way back to him. So I will inform him Whatever. more tomorrow. Just take tomorrow. That, that, that software we got and just, just Photoshop. AI it. Just, just oh. AI a big, I mean, like a massive, you know, brown trout right in there. And, uh, yeah, say, Clay, the fly rod was the, the – the, and your flies were the key to the whole thing. Did he give you some of his flies to yeah. take? Oh, yeah. Just just, just AI, uh, just Photoshop one of them. I know about an eight pound. Don't, don't make it too too unrealistic, but find out what Clay's biggest catch ever is and go just a little bit A little larger. bigger. I can yeah. hear him now. <laughs> I, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. I, I bet you at this time tomorrow I'll probably hear that same thing. Yeah. This is the Lindsay and Associates Pro Hog Update. Giannis over to Bobby in the corner. We'll take it. Oh, Bobby's coming. Slam. Whether you're listing, selling, or leasing, Lindsay and Associates can handle all your real estate needs. Go to lindsay.com to search all the current real estate inventory. At Lindsay and Associates, we bring great neighbors together. Black did one to three. Brian did stand at at home. Well, that young man's aggressive. Playoffs are about to start. In the National Basketball Association, NBA, we've got baseball underway. Christian, what's going on in the world of Hogs after college? Jalen Williams had five points, and Isaiah Joe had two points in the Thunder's 135-86 win over the shorthanded Mavericks on Sunday. Luca, Kyrie, and Gafford were among a handful of Mavericks who did not play in that game. However, the Thunder clinched the number one seed in the West. All right. Congratulations to Jalen, Isaiah, and, and, and the rest of those guys. Got the play-in games coming up, and then we will see who Oklahoma City is playing. They will play, let's see, it's the, I think it's the Warriors or the Kings or will will be their first-round matchup. Actually, it's the, it's the winner of that versus the Lakers and Pelicans of who ends up being the eighth seed. I, I don't, I actually, I kind of want to be, beat LeBron James, so that would be nice. So congratulations to the Oklahoma City Thunder and, and those two uh, Fort Smith Northside Grizzlies and Arkansas Razorbacks. Moses Moody had nine points for the Warriors on Sunday in their 123-116 win over Utah. The Warriors will face the Kings tonight in the ninth and 10th place play-in matchup. Yeah, we'll see if Moses gets some playoff times, getting some some time there. I never know with Steve Kerr if he's going to play him or not. I mean, the Warriors, yeah. he's a fan favorite, and sometimes he plays a good chunk. Other times he doesn't, depending on what the coach does. Mason Jones played five minutes and did not score in the Kings' 121-82 win over Portland on Sunday. All right, it's, he's with Malik Monk, who's dealing with that MCL sprain. Uh, I think I think they're one of their other guys, Herter or something, is dealing with a shoulder injury too. So Mason maybe get some more uh, playing time in the playoffs because of those injuries. I was happy to see this. Nick Smith had 24 points on Sunday in the Hornets' 120-110 win over the Cavs. He was nine of 20 from the field and six of 11 from three. Are they in the Are they in the playoffs, Big C? Oh no, in Charlotte. Are the they Hornets bad? are not. They're, yeah, they're bad. They're bad. Okay. Well, that's a good uh, good game to end on then. The Bucks and Magic went at, went head to head on Sunday with the Magic winning big 113-88. Patrick Beverly had 2 points in the loss and Anthony Black had 5 points in the Magic win. AB's got a high ceiling for the Orlando Magic. I know that Tommy that's where you're going to be. You might see an Anthony Black poster in the next couple of days. Oh, I bet I do. Yeah, I got to uh, I'm going down to Florida for for a few days and uh are they oh well, I don't I need I should look at the schedule, see if they're around. So if I, got a free I, don't, I don't know if they, and I don't know if Orlando is uh is a I don't think they're playoff bound either. They're like Charlotte, aren't they? I think they might be in the play in playing game. Okay, right. something like that. Ricky Council, this is the biggest news I believe. Ricky Council had three points in the 76ers 107-86 win over the Nets. I saw a report where he got a new four year deal worth seven point four million dollars with an additional $864,000 for this season. Yeah, congratulations to Ricky. By the way, Orlando is in the playoff. They are uh, uh, the five seed in the Eastern Conference. Okay. So maybe, man, I don't know if that is, uh, if that's by the end of the week, Tommy, but yeah, maybe you get yeah. a chance to see him at the end of the week. There you go. All right, switching over to MLB, Jalen Beeks, the pitcher for the Colorado Rockies, has a one and one win loss record, 3.86 ERA, and seven innings pitched. He has appeared in eight games and has five strikeouts. 
Andrew Benintendi for the White Sox in 59 at bats has 10 hits and two RBIs. That's good for a 169 batting average on this young season. Isaiah Campbell, pitcher for the Red Sox, he has a 12.79 ERA in seven appearances. He's pitched six and a third innings and has five strikeouts. Dominique Fletcher for the White Sox has 10 hits and four RBIs and 39 at bats. He has a he has a 256 batting average. James McCann for the Orioles in 21 at bats, five hits and two RBIs. His batting average is 238. Drew Smiley, a pitcher for the Cubs, he is a two and one win loss record in a 3.72 ERA and six appearances. He's pitched nine and two thirds innings, has 10 strikeouts. Ryan Stanek for the Mariners has a 3.38 ERA in six appearances. He's pitched in five and a third innings and has two saves with seven strikeouts. Trevor Steffen, pitcher for the Guardians, has not yet made an appearance this season. Man, that's a lot of that's pro MLB right there. Right there. That's a good mouthful. You mentioned Andrew Benatendi. Uh, you were talking about Betts Harrison odds earlier, Tommy. What are the odds that Hagen Smith joins both Andrew Benatendi and um, well, I'm about to say Kevin Knox, Kevin Copps, as the third Golden Spikes Award winner for Arkansas this year? He's seven and zero. He's third all time in strikeouts. If he if he, I think there was 14 in the next two games. He'll be the second in Arkansas list and would move to eight and zero. I mean, you I, mean I don't, be- I don't watch the whole world of of college baseball, mainly the SECs. Probably helps like a player like Tommy White's team is not doing very well at LSU. Um, I you know, why wouldn't Hagen be right there at the top of the list? He, he's made the. Is it the semifinalist list? They they just kind of pared it down. Yeah, about forty five, I think, for the semifinalist it down, list. But yeah, so I mean, uh, I expect him to be right there at the end uh, with the way he is. You know, I know Arkansas lost as a series last weekend, but he won. Maybe not as dominant as he's been in his last two starts, but he's uh, he's he's still very much in charge uh, in, on those Friday night starts. And definitely will be a part of this Lindsay and Associates Pro Hog update when we do it. Yep. in the coming years. Yep, maybe a year or two for uh, we're talking about him in the pros, but he'll be there. And Lindsay and Associates will be there for you. They're celebrating their 50th year in the real estate business. They're the leading real estate company in Northwest Arkansas. Hey, if you're listing, selling, or leasing, or you don't know what to do right now, team up with the people at Lindsay and Associates because they can handle all of your needs. They have over 200 professionally trained agents, three locations, Fayetteville, Rogers, and in Bentonville. They're just a phone call away. Lindsay and Associates, they are the winning choice. Go to lindsay.com to search all the current real estate inventory. At Lindsay & Associates, we bring great neighbors together. Now, let's talk to Tom Murphy on the Morning Rush. And he joins us via the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Tom is with Whole Hog Sports in the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Tom, we got plenty of basketball news to discuss, but I know you've been really focused on football lately, so we'll start there. Uh, spring game reaction in just a sec, but uh, your thoughts on the reports out there that Jacoby, Jacoby Criswell plans on entering the transfer portal. Yeah, um, it was pretty evident that, I mean, Taylor Green started with the ones and stayed with the ones. And, you know, he there's a certain level of execution he showed in spring. And uh, it's harder to do it with the twos. You know, you have less experienced O-linemen, less experienced receivers and all that. But Taylor Green was just clearly ahead of Jacoby. Um, and uh, you hate to see it as a home – State kid from Moralton, um, but you know those are the reports that he's uh, planning to hit the portal. And you know I don't know what the, the destination would be for him. Um, uh, he he had a few moments last year, the, the long run against Auburn. I think that set up a touchdown, and then he directed a touchdown drive or two in uh, the Missouri game. So you know I wish him the best. Uh, he just um, you know. Here's how they explain Taylor Green. He came in and just did all the right things from how long he stayed studying video, uh, how he led the players, what he did in mat drills, and um, he just he just stayed out front. And neither Jacoby or Malachi Singleton could get ahead of him. Who's going to be the backup QB then, Tom? If Jacoby Criswell is is leaving, and it really sounds like he is from multiple reports, are you you putting your your stock in KJ Jackson or, or Malachi Singleton? Well, I think for this coming year, because when you get into camp, you're going to start narrowing the reps down. I mean, Taylor, Taylor Green's reps are going to go up. 
Uh, but I think for this year, Malachi Singleton is the more obvious choice. Look, I talked to some folks who love K.J. Jackson's arm. You know, they think he might have the best arm on that team. But you also saw a lot of freshman presence out there. You know, some decisions. Uh, I, there was a couple of plays that you knew were supposed to be kind of swing passes that uh, he threw that were behind the line and, and a little off. And that's the kind of play that your back doesn't catch it and all of a sudden, it's a free-for-all on who recovers it, and it could be a scoop and score. Um, and, 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 and I point that out just to say that I think he's got great potential, um, but he just looked like a freshman a lot this spring. That's why it was good for him to be here for spring drills. Uh, his singling, I think, is going to be very good. Uh, but I would, I would say Singleton would have the lead for number two quarterback. Tom Murphy with us on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. What's your reporter's nose tell you about what's going on with I say uh, Gustav and him entering the portal, and where does that leave Arkansas as far as depth when it comes to running back? Well, I think he was close with Jimmy Smith, and as all these guys were. And, you know, I did a few stories over the last couple of years and how Jimmy Smith managed to keep that running back room together. When You know, when it was Rocket and A.J. Green and, and Dubinion, and then they would add to it. Uh, but now it's it's kind of broken up some. Rocket transferred, A.J. Green uh, transfer. We'll see him in the Oklahoma State game in week two. And Augustov, even though I really like his potential, I mean, I think he could do some fantastic things. Um, he was he was number two, and, and they announced that, that Jaquindon Jackson and Dominion were 1A and 1B, basically. Uh, you, need, you need three or four guys to get through at running back, I think, in the modern game. I love Jaquindon Jackson, his attitude, uh, his toughness. He's the kind of guy who Sam Pittman described this, you, you give him the ball on the six and people hit him on the four and he drags you for a couple yards. And then you do that twice and you score a touchdown. Um, and also Dubinion's had just a fantastic attitude. I asked him about, you know, you know, in the off season, a lot of dudes hit the portal. Why not him? And he's like, Hey man, I, I just wanted to show people I'm a Razorback. I'm not, basically I'm not chasing the money. And so I, I'm not saying that that's what, what's happening with Augustov, but, he was a third, third back, yeah. and so I think uh, at, on depth you'll have Jackson and Dubinion, which is a really good one-two to enter the SEC with, and then you got Dominic Johnson, who's just been there, um, and then you got Braylon Russell, who's up and coming. So I think you can get through a season with those guys, and you know then there's a couple walk-ons and so on. You know, not I don't want to compare Bobby Petrino's offense too much to what happened here 15 years ago, but we do know he likes to get the ball to the running backs in a variety of ways. You're not just going to, to be back there to take handoffs. You'll you'll receive passes. But the other big part is you've got to chip whoever's blitzing and, and protect the quarterback. But I think all of those things, you know, build your resume tape for the next level. So, I mean, I think as a running back, you'd have to be excited about the variety of ways you'll be utilized in a Bobby Petrino offense. Well, ask Niall Davis and Ronnie Wingo and Dennis Johnson, mm -hmm. Roderick Green, what it's like to be in a Bobby Petrino offense and running back. Those guys had – some nice careers here. Now I went on to the NFL. Um, and, um, yeah, you, you, you cannot play for Bobby Petrino if you don't do the blocking and the chipping. Mm -hmm. So that's going to improve from last year where I think, I think that's, that got away from them a little bit. But a Bobby Petrino offense is simply this, and this is what, how he described it, feed the studs. Get the ball in the hands of guys who are going to get yards and first downs and touchdowns for you. And that will involve back. That the tight ends had a big spring. Um, Isaiah Satania. Uh, there, as much as we thought there were going to be bubble screens and all these things for Satania, it did not play out in in the offense last year, and it was befuddling. And every few weeks we'd ask Sam Pittman about why it wasn't happening, and, and sometimes he'd just say, "I don't know. That's what we practiced." And I think one time they said, uh, "You know, there's been, you know, some." Uh, uh, inconsistencies with catching. Well, Satania is, is a game breaker type, and Bobby Petrino will get him the ball. And then you add in Broden and Armstrong and some other receivers. There's there's going to be playmakers on this offense. Yeah, they Sam Pittman was very complimentary of both Tyrone Broden and Armstrong, who were coming off family stuff and injuries prior to the spring game. Both had good touchdown catches, and hopefully mm -hmm. we'll have a better one-two combo this season. As we're talking with our buddy. Tom Murphy via the McClarty Daniel Hotline, Whole Hawk Sports, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Tom, you mentioned Oklahoma State earlier with the H.A. Green connection. 
the game time, the prior week, has been moved up to Thursday night when Arkansas will take on Little Rock Pine Bluff. It was scheduled for August the 31st. Now it'll be August the 29th. I believe it's 6.30 on ESPNU. How much of a benefit is that for preparing for the Big 12 runner-up that following week in Stillwater? Man, I think it's a massive benefit. Uh, you're playing a night game down there to start with. They've had some 3 p.m. games down there, I want to say, recently. Super hot. Um, but a night game, um, if you're playing on a Saturday, they get back really late, and they're then kind of behind the curve for the next game. So in this case, you get back and you can really rest up Friday. You can get in a Saturday practice. So, you know, you're at least uh, a day or two ahead of Oklahoma State. And who knows, maybe if they can move move their Thursday, their opener up. I'm not sure you know, who they're against or anything. But uh, I think it's just a massive benefit uh, a, a lot of different ways because, you know, you're basically traveling to that first game and then you're traveling to the second game. And uh, extra prep, night game, it's all pluses for Arkansas. I, I was telling Ty yesterday, this game being on a Thursday, being in Little Rock, almost feels detached from the rest of the, the schedule. Uh, it almost feels like Oklahoma State has become the de facto season opener, at least <laughs> for, from my feelings and standpoint. I know we'll we'll air the game on the radio. We'll we'll cover it for the for the paper and the websites and all that. Tom, we'll do our our stuff. But this game, I think, when we look back on it, it will almost you'll have to remind yourself of where when and where the season opener was. <laughs> yeah, it will have a certain feel to it. And and you know, one thing I, I didn't mention was it's a Thursday game. So what right. you know, how many people are gonna get off work in time and make it and all that. So it might not be just a massive full house, but, um, you know, that, that's, that's the one downside. You're playing it on a Thursday in Little Rock, and your folks up here will have to travel down and, you know. Hey, you start we'll your Labor Day weekend. Plays. You just get your Labor Day weekend going early. That's what you do. That, that's the way I would look at it, yeah. But I think, I think you're right. And they have to play better than they did last time against Pine Bluff. The, the starters scored six touchdowns in the first half. It was 42 points. And then the backups went in, and you could tell the second O line was a, a big drop off. And Malik Hornsby was running quarterback, and they scored three points in the second half of that game. And they need to be—I think they need to show their second unit is more capable uh, this time around against Pine Bluff. Tom, we'll leave it there this morning, man. Appreciate your time. We'll do it again Thursday at seven twenty and uh, talk more Arkansas basketball. Bet we hear some news or or, or two. You betcha. Talk to y'all then. All right, Tom Murphy. With us on the McClarty Daniel Hotline this morning, always interesting stuff, and we didn't didn't even get to baseball with Tom. There's certainly plenty of that to uh, talk about as well. Hey, let me tell you about Kevin Hickey and Brad Hull real quick. They are at the Hickey and Hull Law Partners. In the last few years, they have expanded with now four locations across the great state of Arkansas. They're in Mena, they're in Little Rock, they're in Fort Smith, which is home base, and Northwest Arkansas as well. Kevin Hickey, Brad Hull, and their team have over seven decades of combined experience. They continue to grow and add more qualified, uh, great attorneys to help you with whatever your situation is, criminal matter, civil matter, business lawsuit that, that's going on, or maybe uh, maybe you've got a family law issue where your divorce decree is not being lived up to for visitation, or you've got a situation there. That's really their specialty. Call this one number, and they can get you set up in any of their four locations, 479-434-2414. So no matter where you're listening, that number will work. Here it is again, 479-434-2414, or go to KevinHakeyLaw.com. Talk some baseball and some other stuff on the other side of the morning rush. Just say, Alexa, play ESPN Arkansas. ESPN Arkansas from Tooney. This is Jerry S. Riding. You listen to the morning rush. WG Equipment is your home for New Holland ag and construction equipment, sales, parts, and service. For high horsepower row crop tractors and combines, utility tractors and hay equipment, compact track loaders, and mini excavators. WG Equipment has it all. Stop by one of their eight locations to explore the value of New Holland tractors and see why New Holland hay equipment and twin rotor combines are second to none in harvesting ability. Need to upgrade your construction equipment fleet? Give WT Equipment a call. Come by a store or check out their website, wtequip.com. 
The best selection of RVs is now even better at Wheels RV in Springdale. Wheels RV has added Brinkley RVs to the already loaded lineup of Grand Design and Forest River products. See the Brinkley Model Z, the latest innovation in luxury fifth wheels. And like always, every new RV comes with a lifetime warranty so you can camp with confidence. So stop in and find out why Wheels has been voted best RV dealer year after year. Wheels RV, five miles west of exit 72 off of I-49 in Springdale. Seek, explore, discover with Wheels RV. Testosterone levels naturally drop in men with age, often causing a lack of energy, anxiety, weight gain, diminished libido, and performance issues. Don't suffer in silence. Call Maverick Male Medical in Fayetteville today for more about testosterone or weight loss therapy. They focus on your excellent care, optimal health, and performance. Call Maverick Male Medical today at 305-8206. That's 305-8206. Or go to maverickmalemedical.com. Dot com. This is the Morning Rush. Kobe Hamilton. <laughs> Tired of constant computer issues at work? And who knows what the real problem is? Is it the router? No, it's the hardware. Wait, they said it was the software. Call Hashtech Managed IT Services. Their multifaceted approach to IT support guarantees that everything is working at optimum performance. And Hashtech prevents the small problems from becoming big issues. Hashtech Managed IT Services in Van Buren. 479-802-4978. That's 479-802-4978. Hashtech Technology Without the Headache. The Wave Rural Connect Shoal Creek Zone is open. Fast fiber internet, TV, and home phone available. This covers Midway, New Blaine, Scranton, Delaware, and other areas. Even if this isn't your zone, check your address. We might be available for you. Get your whole home solution. Internet, TV, and phone from a local provider. Go to signup.waveruralconnect.com or call 1-833-492-8372. Arkansas Valley Electric and Wave Rural Connect. Changing the communities we serve. The best text mix and even better service is at Joe's Grill and Cantina in Fort Smith. Every Friday is Fajita Friday, featuring their charbroiled steak and chicken. It's tender, full of flavor, and comes with all the fixings. Saturdays are for endless enchiladas with Joe's homemade enchilada sauce and all the beef, chicken, or cheese enchiladas you can eat. Joe's Grill and Cantina, great Tex-Mex, even better service. 3400 South 74th Street, across from Harps. Husband, sons, daughters, honor your wife or mother for Mother's Day at the inaugural Mystery at the Fort Legacy Ball, benefiting Heart to Heart Pregnancy and Family Care Center on May 11th at the U.S. Marshals Museum. Buy your tickets today for this 1940s mystery dinner, coupled with an exciting night of investigative entertainment and lively dancing with the band Who Shot JR. For more information, call 479-452-2260. When I need a place to stay in Northwest Arkansas, I always choose the Inn at the Mill. It's centrally located in the heart of NWA at the Johnson exit off I-49 and is the most unique choice of hotels in the region. Whether you're in town for the game, a concert at the Amp, business travel, or just a weekend away, the Inn at the Mill has a spacious, clean room ready for you. Reserve your stay at the Inn at the Mill, 479-443-1800, or visit innatthemill.com. The Inn at the Mill, where the past meets the present. Hey, Ty Richardson for a cut above lawn and landscaping. They service commercial and residential lawns for weed management and fertilization for a lush, healthy lawn. Need bush hogging? They do that too. A cut above also offers tree and limb removal. Don't forget hauling and dumpster rental as well. More than just a mowing service, they're a cut above. Call or text today at 479-719-5605. Lawn, landscaping, power washing, stump grinding, leaf removal, mulching, flea tick, and mosquito control. 719-5605. Have your travel plans changed? Looking for a place that's close to home and keep your family safe? Gaston's White River Resort is located on the beautiful White River. They offer private accommodations in their lodges and cabins. Most cabins have a fully equipped kitchen or let their restaurant staff deliver to your cabin. Call 870-431-5202 and change your plans to Gaston's White River Resort. Gaston's White River Resort, a first-class time every time. It's time to vote for your favorite high school player of the week. ESPN Arkansas and Shamrock Roofing and Construction are recognizing the most outstanding high school student athletes. Visit hitthatline.com each week to vote for your favorite athlete of the week. The high school player of the week is brought to you by Shamrock Roofing and Construction. No one can install a better roof at a better price with a better warranty than Shamrock. Visit them at shamrockroofer.com. Visit the nominees each week at hitthatline.com. 
your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. The Cal era is here. Championship Under Construction is brought to you by Limburg Real Estate Group, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and the River Valley. For all your real estate needs, go to LimburgTeam.com. Limburg Real Estate Group, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and the River Valley. For all your real estate needs, go to LimburgTeam.com. Maverick Mail Medical, your wellness and aesthetic center for men in Northwest Arkansas. Look better, live better, love better. Visit MaverickMailMedical.com. So everybody wants to know about Big Z. Well, I'm sitting here in my office with him today, and I said, let's do an interview. I'll interview you. So here's what we're going to do. Pronounce just your first name, because we had Oscar Shibwe, and it took us some time. So give us how we pronounce your first name. So my first name is Zvonimir. Zvonimir. Yeah. Zvonimir. All right, say it with me. Zvonimir. Okay, last name. Uh, Ivišić. Ivišić. Oh, that is a uh, video that Cal and Big Give me Z. the last one again. Visić. 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 I believe I have that correct. It's a little easier. Zvonimir Visić. Zvonimir Visić. Visić. It's a little easier to say Larry Rath of Rath Auto Resources. We Larry Rath. Larry. Can you do? Can you say Zvonimir Visić? Zvonimir Visić. Yeah. Beach. Big Z is yeah. just easier, isn't it? Yeah, Larry Rath is easier. Yeah. <laughs> much, you, you think you got a simple. you got a car over there that Big Z could uh, could fit in, or do you think uh, it'd be like uh, what was that um, old the show where two tall gentlemen they'd take the old the cop show? I'm I'm forgetting the, the movie. top off of it. No, they'd yeah. take the front seat. He ripped the front seat out, <laughs> set in the back seat to drive the car. Right. Yeah. So we probably have to customize something for Police him, Academy. Bad. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, what's going yeah. on, man? Oh, just lots of fun things. We missed you a couple of times last week. We were out in uh, Puerto Rico for a Meineke convention where we got recognized for a couple of the top stores in the nation. Real proud of those Meineke Car Care Centers. Folks, if you're looking for a place to take care of all your maintenance and repair needs, tires, brakes, batteries, uh, major repairs, we really do it all in those Meineke Car Care Centers at an affordable price, and we get it in now there. You know, get you taken care of. Uh, some great people back there, Chad Goff. Philip Matlock, uh, Nate, Tiffany, Matt. We just got some wonderful people. Tan Man, great people back there. We're real proud of our Meineke Car Care Center. So if you're looking for a place to take care of your car, give us a shot at the Meineke Car Care Center in Fort Smith or in Springdale. If you're looking for a new car, the Mitsubishi lineup, we're so proud of that lineup. The Outlander, the Eclipse Cross, the Mirage, the Sport, we've got a good selection of those as well. And right now we've got some incentives that are really helping us put some deals together for folks that may have a little bit of negative equity. If you find yourself in that shape, and there's a lot of people in that shape right now, we've got the incentives that will help us get you into something brand new at Rath Mitsubishi in a good lineup. So come in and check those cars out. If you haven't looked at them, come in for a test drive. You're going to be impressed. If you're looking for a nice used car, a premium, pre-owned vehicle, we've got them. Road ready, certified, with warranty at both locations. We've got a big inventory right now. It's spring cleaning. we got to move them all. So we're making some terrific deals there. Savings up to $6,000 on road-ready certified premium pre-owned vehicles. So we've kind of got something for everybody. We'd love to see you today. Come on by. Give us a call. Go online and uh, let us help you start driving better. Rath Auto Resources in Fort Smith, Rath Mitsubishi in Springdale, the Meineke Car Care Centers at both locations. Or check us out online, rathauto.com. All right, that's Rath Auto Resources, Fort Smith and in Springdale. Larry, enjoy your day, and uh, let's chat on Friday. All right, you guys have a good one. Folks, come and see us. So Big Z committing to Arkansas basketball is the big story from yesterday. Your baseball team is back in action tonight against the Texas Tech Red Raiders, 7 o'clock on ESPN2 and right here on most of these ESPN Arkansas radio stations. HitThatLine.com and our brand new Hit That Line Now app. You are 25-1 and at home this season, 7-1 and in midweek games. This year, but Tommy, this is not your typical midweek opponent. Nope. Uh, Texas Tech is a little, little different. They're not apparently. Uh, listen to Dave. They're not making a return trip to Lubbock, but again, you're getting two games in Baum Walker against a, a big time baseball team, yeah, power five team, and kind of team that could end up in a regional with you at some point. I mean, that's not far fetched or, um, you know, not inconceivable at all. And 
you know, Arkansas is still working on strength of schedule. Um, their RPI is, you know, top 10. Their strength of schedule. I, last I saw them, Warren Nolan was around 25 to 30. I, you know, that stuff moves kind of daily. But uh, uh, so, I mean, these kind of games will, will help moving forward. Being in the SEC is going to do enough for your strength of schedule. But, uh, you know, Arkansas still got plenty to play for. And we've talked all, <laughs> you know, everybody's all upset that they fell from from the, the, the lofty spot of number one down to two in the D1 baseball poll. Everybody's got their, they're wringing their hands a little bit right now. But we've all said, hey, you don't really want to be number one anyway going in to the uh, postseason because number one hadn't had a good fate. You say, let's do it the hard way. I just say, let's figure out how to how to crack the code finally. Well, I'd like to crack the code. I just think that Arkansas is going to have to do it in the most inconceivable way possible, which is the fact that since 1999, not 18, or 99 happened. Since 2000, you haven't had a number one overall seed that's won right. the national championship in baseball, and it would be the most Arkansas, Arkansas thing ever for their first championship to do it in that approach. I'll take one either way, like you're saying. Uh, you do it because you have a Golden Spikes eventual finalist and possible winner in Hagen Smith, and your bats wake up, which they haven't woken up. And if they don't wake up, you're not going to win a national championship. You can't win a national championship with the 10th best batting average in the SEC, which they're hovering around 10 in a bunch of categories right now. It's not going to happen. You'll run into bats that are better, that as good as your pitching has been, they'll stroke them. And it's you just, hap- just got to play good for three weeks. I mean, you just got to play your absolute best for three weeks. And I think Arkansas's best is enough. Now, whether they can time it up, you know, that remains to be seen. Hey, it's Taco Tuesday at Joe's Grill and Cantina. One dollar crunchy beef and chicken tacos. That those chicken tacos over there, full of flavor. Love them. Dollar a piece for lunch and dinner. That's all day today at Joe's Grill and Cantina. Nacho average Wednesday tomorrow. Dollar off all the nachos. Throwback Thursday with the old Cucos platters and maybe the I don't know. There's two. There's several great days. Fajita Friday with the charbroiled cha- steak and chicken, and then the endless enchiladas have become very popular on Saturday. All the enchiladas you can stand for $15. Joe's Grill and Cantina, there's something going on every day. They're on South 74th Street across from Harps in Fort Smith. All right, one more segment, SEC Update next. Just say, Alexa, play ESPN Arkansas. ESPN Arkansas from Tooney. This is former Razorback kicker Zach Hawker. You're listening to the Morning Run. Just watching her blonde hair sunburn stare at them whack ass rolling over. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group has immediate openings in the Northwest Arkansas area. If you're a licensed CDL driver, heavy equipment operator, electrician, diesel mechanic, have paving or concrete labor experience, or experience in a quarry, apply today at jobs.crh.com. APAC offers top pay, a sign-on bonus, benefits including insurance, retirement, and profit sharing. Apply online today at jobs.crh.com. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group is an equal opportunity employer. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenix Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that ad on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The key ingredient is something called Tesnor, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you? Man, I feel like I'm in my 20s again at work in the gym and in the bedroom are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves yeah you just need to send them a text text bike to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of nugenix total tea the number one selling testosterone booster at gnc plus text now and we'll include a bottle of nugenix thermo our most powerful fat incinerator ever to help you get back into shape fast absolutely free text b-i-k-e to 321321 that's bike to 321321 this is the morning rush we've got a show here we are the University of Arkansas. Diamond Center is proud to present our inaugural Whiskey and Watches event. Now is your chance to get your hands on that timeless timepiece you've been dreaming of. Between now and Thursday, April 25th, in our Fort Smith store, call or stop by to pre-order your watch. Then join us on Thursday, April 25th, for a night of celebration featuring rare whiskeys, cigars, and luxury watches. This is your opportunity to add that watch that you've always had an eye on to your collection. For more information or to pre-order your watch today, give us a call. The Diamond Center, celebrating a legacy of love. 
Hey, this is Ty Richardson for Jake Neal and his team at Jerry Neal's Barbecue. Jake's dad, Jerry, started cooking barbecue at Jerry Neal's in 1977, and Jake took over and has been doing the same thing ever since. I got ribs the last time I was there. Woo! Man, they were good. Don't forget about the catfish either. It's cooked to order, so it's hot and fresh every single time. The best catfish in the River Valley. Jerry Neal's Barbecue Catfish and Catering, 1823 Phoenix Avenue in Fort Smith. Hi folks, Larry Rath here for Rath Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center where it's spring cleaning time. The lot is blooming with fresh road ready certified inventory and weekly specials that could save you up to $4,000. If you're keeping the car you have, let us take care of it for you in the Meineke Car Care Center with half off brakes and buy three, get one free on all tires. Better yet, trade today and save up to $4,000 during spring cleaning at Rath Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center where all the happiest drivers are rolling with Rath. Just north of Phoenix on Towson, Fort Smith. Bet Saracen is Arkansas's number one mobile app for placing sports wagers. There's big news in the mobile sports betting business. Bet Saracen was just named the 15th largest sports book in America. That's because Arkansans like to do business with a winner. Find all your winners on Bet Saracen. Download it today and look for my double R prop bet specials. I pick them, you win them. Bet Saracen is Arkansas's favorite sports wagering app. Gambling problem? Call 800 522 4700. The best selection of RVs is now even better at Wheels RV in Springdale. Wheels RV has added Brinkley RVs to the already loaded lineup of Grand Design and Forest River products. See the Brinkley Model Z, the latest innovation in luxury fifth wheels. And like always, every new RV comes with a lifetime warranty so you can camp with confidence. So stop in and find out why Wheels has been voted best RV dealer year after year. Wheels RV, five miles west of exit 72 off of I-49 in Springdale. Seek, explore, discover with Wheels RV. It's sad that we live in an unsafe world, but we do. Would you be able to show the police who was at your home if something was taken? Gartronic installs alarm systems as well as camera systems. We here at ESPN rely on our Gartronic installed cameras to keep an eye on what's going on around our building, as many of you do. Gardtronic has been serving the River Valley for over 60 years. Call Gardtronic for a free estimate so you'll be able to show the police who the bad boys are that took your belongings. License E50. When I need a place to stay in Northwest Arkansas, I always choose the Inn at the Mill. It's centrally located in the heart of NWA at the Johnson exit off I-49 and is the most unique choice of hotels in the region. Whether you're in town for the game, a concert at the Amp, business travel, or just a weekend away, the Inn at the Mill has a spacious, clean room ready for you. Reserve your stay at the Inn at the Mill, 479-443-1800, or visit innatthemill.com. The Inn at the Mill, where the past meets the present. You won't miss a moment of the action at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. Cold drinks and hot food specialties, sure to score points with your entire crew. Come watch all the games at On The Mark, 6,000 square feet of sports entertainment with over 40 flat screen TVs and the best smoked wings. Only at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill, 2588 North Drag Avenue in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. On The Mark, all the games, all the time. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Except we've got SEC buyers. Deal with it. They're the best. In the SEC, it just means more. I know what, but the SEC just got a little tougher. This is your SEC update on the morning rush. Brought to you by Burton Pools and Spas. Trusted pool experts and your source for backyard fun. Locations in Fort Smith, Springdale, and always online at burtonpools.com. So you wonder about certain SEC players and the possible interest of John Calipari in Fayetteville, Arkansas. According to Kevin McPherson, Works with uh, Pig Trail Nation and Hogville. Uh, Jonas Adu, who plays for the Tennessee Volunteers, might have some interest in Fayetteville. Uh, he's entered the transfer portal and the possibility of adding another big man. You had a big Z, so we were talking about last segment. And to have there, another big guy who just ripped you apart in Puddle Arena earlier this season. I like the idea of that. It's not just about one or two guys. If you could have a couple 6'11", 7'2", guys like big Z, you take it any way you can get it. Well, I, you need need more than one, uh, but you know part of the problem with this last year's team with Arkansas, too many guards, not enough uh, fours and fives, right? I mean, so you can't have too much of one thing. You got to have the right balance, and you know, Cal knows what he's doing. So, you know, Eric Musman knew what he's doing. I don't doubt that for a second. Just 
you got to get the right pieces of the puzzle to come together. Yeah, and hopefully they continue. You got one commit to, uh, yesterday, and I, I ballparked the idea of like seven former Kentucky commits and players. What would you put the over under in terms of by the end of the week? Oh, end that of the are week. currently committed to uh, Arkansas. Two and a half. See, that's and maybe it's the overwhelming positivity that's happening with Arkansas basketball right now. That seems low. I would hammer the over. Okay. On that, Do you, are you including Big Z in that or two, two and a half adi- or three? Additional. Additional. Yeah. Okay. That sounds, yeah, three guys. Yeah, that's probably more like it. But uh, I think that a lot of Arkansas fans are have the expectation that this is, is going to keep chugging and keep chugging fast when it comes to your basketball program. the snowball. Yeah. Uh, Kentucky fans are delusional. I think we know that. Uh, and when asked about Reed Shepard, who is probably going to be drafted top ten in this upcoming NBA draft. Here is new Kentucky coach Mark Pope and what he is going to do possibly with his future. It's kind of funny, but it's kind of like he's not coming back, y'all. You know, Jeff and Stacy and Reed are, are very spiritual people and, and where God is calling him. And that's just the truth. So I, I told Shep, I'm spending a lot of time praying that God will call him back to Kentucky. <laughs> but but we'll see how that goes. We'll see. I think Jeff and, and, and in fact, I know him and Jeff were, were teammates on that 96 national championship team up. Uh, Mark Pope, the new Kentucky head basketball coach. I mean, there's no way that this kid comes back to Kentucky, right? I mean, he's, he's going to be a top, as you just heard, he's going to be like a top seven, eight pick. I can't see, Kyle, I guess Kyle Filipowski came back and he was going to be a lottery pick. I don't know where he's going to fall and slot. He might have honestly laughed, lost some ground. Uh, I don't know if he moved up a lot or moved in, but I just, I don't know how that'd be possible to come back if you're a top 10 pick. What do you um, think? Well, I mean, if that's see, that, would, that would seem like money you couldn't turn down. The NIL changes some of that, but I, I'm with you. I mean, it, it, there's nothing about that that makes sense other than you only got one chance to be a Kentucky Wildcat when you're from that state and that's your family heritage and lineage. You know, sometimes that stuff's more. It, it, the player he is, I mean, is he going to be a top 10 pick if he came out next year or the year after? I don't. I don't feel like you ever gain a lot of ground. If you're like, that's why I don't hate on kids for, for leaving. I mean, but, I would love for whoever to stay for four years. I just don't know how much ground he can. I mean, he's not going to be a number one pick. I don't think, but the sacrifice you make to stay is not as great as it once was because you stayed before and you got, yeah. I mean, you stayed before and you got, you know, full cost of attendance. Now you stay and you, you get paid. And I don't know what a, a player like him would, you know, we hear these million dollar figures. What would an agent advance you? I don't know, but I mean, um, it's more, it, you got to have more consideration for staying now than you have in the past, right? Yeah, but we're talking like a million, maybe two versus 15. And there's a big, that's oh, a, I get it. But there's only one chance to be a star at Kentucky and to enjoy the college life. Now that, you know, the NBA life ain't bad either, but you know, you only get, you know, I'm not saying that's what he should do. I'm just saying you have to pause a little more now than you did a few years ago. Yeah. We'll see what happens with Shepard and some of the other Kentucky players that they all have decisions to make, not just to come back to Lexington, NBA draft, and others. Arkansas baseball has lost its number one ranking to the Texas A&M Aggies, who in both the D1 baseball poll and I think the coaches poll are at number one. And the D1 baseball poll, you had it earlier, top four teams are all SEC. Mm-hmm. It goes Arkansas, or excuse me, A&M, Arkansas, Kentucky, then Tennessee, Tennessee right? Yeah, yep. And then I think Oregon State was at five. So that's a, it's quite impressive. <laughs> I mean, we always talk about the prowess of SEC football. Baseball is just a different level. Yeah. It is a different level. And I think eight of the top 25 teams are all handling from this conference. So you're probably going to get at least eight teams, probably more like 10, that end up going to postseason. You got it. Uh, you mentioned the top four there. Vanderbilt's at 13. Alabama moves up to 18. South Carolina, this week's opponent for the Razorbacks, is number 20, and Georgia is number 24. So uh, those are those eight teams you're talking about. It's pretty wild, and that's just SEC baseball, another year of excellence and a lot of teams that will be. And you you mentioned just how crazy this weekend is. I mean, you got a top four matchup between mm-hmm. the uh, – can is it A&M versus Tennessee or Kentucky? All right, versus- here's what you got. You got number four, Tennessee, at number three, Kentucky. You got number two, Arkansas, at number 20, South Carolina. And you got number one, A&M, at number 18, Alabama. You also got Florida at Vandy 
um, this weekend as well. And let's see, Ole Miss at Georgia, Auburn at Mississippi State, LSU at Missouri. But, yeah, just the ranked matchups right there, three uh, three top 20 matchups in the league this weekend. Arkansas is in one of those. So It's wild, man. That is just SEC baseball in a nutshell. And that's your SEC update here on a Bandwagon Tuesday. Brought to you by Burton Pools and Spas. They're celebrating their 46th anniversary with incredible deals on in-ground pools. Savings up to $12,000. Construction starts in May. If you get in right now, start getting your pool design, you can be underway and swim this summer. Snag up to $1,200 or $1, off Doughboy above ground pools and $5,000 off Doughboy semi in ground pools as well. Hot tubs, listen to this deal. They start at a low $39.99 during this 46th anniversary sale. Burton Pools and Spa, Springdale and in Fort Smith, always online at burtonpools.com. They build more than pools at Burton Pools and Spas. They build long-term relationships. Again, online, burtonpools.com. Right, let's wrap up the show. Jacoby Criswell, it sounds like, is going to enter the transfer portal. Haven't seen anything 100% official yet outside of report saying he plans on it. Subject to change his mind, but doesn't. It, it, I think your, your quarterback room just got a lot smaller. And I, I'd forgotten that uh, the Bryant kid, whose name it just escaped me. I think it's Austin something. Austin Ledbetter, I think is his name. Uh, ended up stopped playing baseball this past offseason and now joined the football program as a former Bryant Hornet quarterback. But it is it decreased a little bit if Jacoby Criswell enters the transfer portal. You got the young freshman KJ Jackson, who people seem to be really excited about, and then Malachi Singleton from I think North Cobb, Georgia. Uh, but three guys, you'd much rather have four in there, and we'll see if Arkansas. I know. Quarterback wasn't something that Sam Pittman mentioned portal-wise, but you just lost a running back in Isaiah Augusta. It sounds like you're losing Criswell, so a running back and a quarterback could be also on the minds now of, of those two, uh, of the head football yeah. coach at Arkansas. You hate it for Jacoby because he didn't go to Arkansas to begin with and goes to North Carolina, gets behind a great quarterback there, doesn't get a chance, comes here behind KJ. I mean, we know the lineage, and you're hoping this would be the year it maybe work out, but... Um, Sounds like he's fourth, and you know he needs to find probably a different level and a different, different place to get get snaps. And I don't know where that's going to. You hate it for an in-state it, kid. I mean, you really wish it'd work out. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where that's going to be. At I mean, we're it's April the sixteenth. Spring ball's up for every what every college. So I you're going to come in and just win a job in fall ball. That's, Probably not going to happen. And, That's what I'm saying. You probably got to look for a different level. Yeah, immediate. Maybe just a, you're trying to get a backup job. Uh, it's it's tough. And I, I there's so many different things that these guys have to contemplate and try and figure out. Uh, it is not the easiest decision for anyone that's going through that process. Now, that's football, and there will be other football news this week. But if you're if you're asking basketball news, if you want to know who could potentially wind up as an Arkansas Razorback, I think DJ Wagner who you played last year twice, is going to be a hog. I expect him to sign here. I expect uh, Carter Knox, who's Kevin Knox's little brother, who was on the New York Knicks. I don't know where he's at now, but he's got Chicken Man in his bio. I think he comes here. Uh, Billy Richmond is a Kentucky commit that I think could wind up here. He's got uh, Jersey connections. I think Wagner's the other one with Jersey connections, too. Uh, Jaden Quinn's is the number one recruit in that class that has gotten out of his national letter of intent. I think him and Boogie Fland end up coming here. So I really do think you could wind up with seven or eight Kentucky commits or players that become Arkansas Razorbacks. Are they Kentucky commits or Cal commits? That's what we're going that's to find great, out. Probably Cal. And that's exactly what Big Z said in his announcement that, hey, had a great meeting with Mark Pope, but in the end, I, you know, I want to play in the NBA, and I think the path to do that in, uh, what did he say, the most monumental part of my decision mm -hmm. to come to Kentucky was to play for Coach Cal? I mean, that, that, it, was a, it was a mouthful in, in, in one sentence of a, I don't know, four or five paragraph statement. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's, the, that's the meat of the whole matter is these players went to play for Cal. Yeah. And if, you know, I think that's going to hold out true in this list of other players you've put together. And I think they're Cal commits, not Kentucky commits, other than with the exception of those one or two in-state kids you talked about. Yeah, let's hope so. And I also saw uh, Kentucky news that uh, they're going to do a home-and-home -home in Madison Square Garden in Lexington with Pope and his former coach, Rick Pitino, which I thought was, and I'm not a Kentucky guy, but I, I at least yeah. thought that was kind of a cool thing that they're doing. Yeah. 
All right, all of our uh, Arkansas basketball coverage this week and beyond brought to you by the Lindbergh Real Estate Group, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and the River Valley. For all of your real estate needs, go to LindberghTeam.com. And by Maverick Mail Medical, your wellness and aesthetic center for men in Northwest Arkansas. Hey, you can look better, live better, and love better. Get more details at MaverickMailMedical.com. As we wrap up today's show, Scotty Scheffler was seen at a popular bar dive bar in, in dallas texas it's actually one of my brother's favorite bar called inwood tavern and i was thinking about where would i want to go if i somehow some way won a master's jacket and the first place and i i'm gonna be corny i think pat and i don't like patrick reed but i think his first spot was like chick-fil-a i think mine would first be a restaurant because i'd be hungry and oh i, I bet they feed you at augusta yeah <laughs> they, they, but that would you probably spot me at at a restaurant of some sort uh, on the way to the airport or on the way back to Arkansas in a green jacket. He donned it at this bar. I think mine would probably end up being a restaurant. Oh, yeah. I mean, some, you know, something good and greasy. You know, you'd, you'd feel like you earned it. You know, probably something with double meat and double cheese on it. Take me to Whataburger or Hardee's or something like that. Yeah. Just wear and just while, while wearing the green jacket, hopefully you don't get any grease or any ketchup or any anything stains on it yeah, you, you gotta turn that thing back you, in what do you do if you stain it do you get it dry clean dry clean, it, dry yeah. clean? well hopefully he did not what, uh, you think they got all them jackets down there and they've never been cleaned I, I, or, I don't know. i don't know what the protocol is in augusta i would National. like to find out yeah, though i would too all right that's gonna wrap up today's show really appreciate everyone joining us here on a bandwagon tuesday for tommy Kraft, for tom murphy and for our friend richard davenport i'm ty richardson enjoy the rest of your day we'll be back tomorrow at 6 a.m It's a good day to be in Arkansas. You know why? The Lotto Jackpot.